Um, as usual, let us know how the quality looks and uh, bear with us as we always uh, get everything up and going. Yeah, we got everything set up. Um, hello to all of our friends. Uh, Allison, I know you're in here. I've eaten dinner. I'm She's not having not any snacks. eating anything. Because I'm saving today. it for ice cream as my treat when we finish tonight. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So if you're here waiting for ammo, it's not going to happen. <laughs> Um, hope you guys are all having a good weekend. Um, I know a couple parks had their big opening weekends. Uh, did anyone visit like Kings Island? I know Kings Island just opened up for the year. Oh yeah. Um, Kings the, Island is in the chat. Kings Island is in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Not the official Kings they, Island. Apparently. Yeah. Woohoo! Um, yeah, and their new Family Boomerang also started testing, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. I, you know, the whole thing with Cedar Fair is I thought it was like, oh yeah, every Cedar Fair like new ride opens when the park does, but I, I guess that's not a thing now. Right, well, no, I think it normally is. Some, I think something clearly was that they were just like maybe delayed by a little bit, um, which is why they weren't able to get it up yeah. and running. But normally all the Cedar Fair Parks do get all their coasters up by opening yeah. day. Um, Topfield 2 will obviously be opening up uh, for for people as early as I think next week or uh, you know early the week afterwards. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, so that's getting, that's getting pretty close, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, seeing all the test runs, all the videos come up from that thing. Um, it's almost there. It is almost there, which is wild. And uh, speaking of new roller coasters, um, hopefully you guys have seen our Iron Menace videos that just went up because uh, we got to experience that this past week. That was a trip we just got back from on Friday. So we got to experience the new B&M dive coaster and it was a lot of fun. Is Super Chat off or something? I don't Someone know. just keeps asking about super chats. Is it not? Click on that. What about it? Super chat. Oh no, you can. Yeah, no, super chat's working. All right, it's still alive. Yeah. It's I'm not required sure. though. We will try our best to answer as many questions as we can. Yeah. But we obviously have to prioritize if somebody donates. Yeah. Um. Someone said I'm looking good today. I'm wearing makeup for a change. Look at that. <laughs> I know. Crazy. <laughs> I never do that. Yeah. Um. So the Inside Edition has gone too far with their report of anticipated 2024 coaster. Did you see that? They did? No. Inside Edition did a bit on Iron Menace. I they know, they were there. I was watching yeah, them. They said, and I quote, have the roller coaster wars gone too far? I'm oh, like, wait. it's a dive coaster. Relax. That was Inside Edition who said yeah. that? Because I heard that, like, clip. Yeah. Just that audio. And I was like, Yeah. Have the roller have coaster they? wars gone too far? I don't know, guys. Are they getting too out of control? <laughs> They might be. Ooh, this one goes 95 degrees. Wow. <laughs> Max, Max donated two dollars to let us know that it works. It thank, works. Thank All you, right. Max. Thanks, Max. Appreciate it. This one's for you. I did not actually <laughs> watch the Inside Edition clip. I just saw the headline and I was like, "What?" Yeah. Uh, Have they gone too far? No. I don't think they're going far enough. No. I Definitely. think the only time that that expression would make sense is if you were to pair it with a piece about Falcon's flight. <laughs> Have the roller coaster wars gone too far? This thing it goes 150-something miles an hour. It's 600 feet tall. Has it gone too far? <laughs> the answer is no. The answer is, well, <laughs> we don't know yet. We know one's I don't it. know, yeah. Until they run yeah. that thing through all the way, I don't know. You say that, but the irony is I'm pretty sure the um, thumbnail for Intim the Intimidator 35 review was like, it's got the ride that went too far. Because it did. Something. It did go too so far. There they you go. To, so there's an example of a ride that did. <laughs> they, because they had to reprofile it. They It did go too far. Yeah. Yeah. They, like a ride that literally had the reputation from day one of causing people to black out. Not just gray out, black out. Like that it was common. Now it's a bit, you know, it still happens, but it's not as common. But I survive it used to be where that was like, like people were getting off and they're like, I passed out. I'm not gonna lie, I wish I had gotten to ride it when it was like that. Believe me, I missed it by a year. Oh, I, I didn't ride it opening year, I rode it the year after. Oh. Yeah, loser. I was. Cedar Kev says, oh my gosh, is that Coaster Studio? Oh my gosh, is that Cedar Kev? Oh my gosh. Ah! Kevin, I love you. We ran into him at our hotel. Yeah, we ended up at the same hotel and we invited him over to, to party. That was pretty funny. Uh, party. Lu Lucas <laughs> donated $5 says, rank the com Cosmic Rewind songs from worst to best. Okay. Okay, all right, so there's six. Um, my least favorite is Disco Inferno. That would be my least favorite as well, which I didn't expect, but like, that song, other than the main part that's like, burn, baby, burn. Everything else doesn't work. It's just the kind of like, din, 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 beat. Yeah. like it just, I it's don't know, just, it doesn't really. It's not, it's too consistent. It doesn't have enough, uh, like, differentiating yeah. moments. Yeah, I would it. say everybody wants to, everybody wants to, everybody wants to, 
us to rule the Number world. Number five. Yes. Yeah, I think I'd agree. I really like that one with it, but like if we're doing a ranking, probably. Yeah. Um. After that, maybe. Ooh. I know. I'm like maybe. Sip, maybe uh, Conga. Conga, probably Conga. Conga, number four, and then three. Mm. September. September. Yeah. I could and get then, behind that. And then one way or another. And then I ran. And then I ran. Okay. I think. I think. Okay. But it's like. The only one that I'm like, eh, when I get it is Disco Inferno. All the other ones I love. So I love hard. all of them. Yeah, the only thing with Iran, I love it for the main part, but I think when it first launches you backwards, it doesn't have the strongest beginning. I think September has the strongest beginning. Da -na 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 -na, like Really? I think Congress launches are really good. Da -na -na -na. That one's good, too. I'm I think sorry those two have anyone, the strongest beginning. If anyone didn't know what the songs were on well, uh, now Fridays, you do. now you do. I'm so sorry. <laughs> That was a really good question. Um, Scott Wallace is here. Hello. Hi, Scott. Uh, Donate five dollars. Said Charlotte wants to know what your favorite Taylor Swift album is. Um, I don't know all the albums off the top oh, of my head. Oh, shut up. I'm a 1990. I'm a 1989 girl. Girl. I'm a 1989 <laughs> girl. He's such a 1989 girl. Ooh, I don't know. That's a tough one. Um. Let me. You know what? While you're in, seeing the next one, I'm gonna look and see which one I have the most. Speak now is number two. I say you love Speak Now. 1989 followed by Speak Now. That's the right. top two. Followed by uh, either Reputation or Midnight. Probably Reputation. I'm not going to lie. That's, the top, that's on our, top three. On our Patreon page, we like bring up Taylor so sometimes see if anyone will talk to us about her music. Yeah, she puts up a thing and she's like, on Cameo, if you want to send in your top ten uh, favorite Taylor Swift songs, we'll roast them. No one did. I know. I was <laughs> no one Everyone did just kept one. sending in their roller coasters. I'm like, come on. Hi. No one was interested. Everyone just sent in more roller coaster stuff. I'm like, all right, you guys stink. Uh, happy Tortured Poets Society. Nope. Happy Tortured Poets Department. Mm -hmm. I was, I said like a <laughs> Dead Poets Society. No, that's fair. I don't I know. I just watched pretty... the music video and Ethan Hawke is in it from Dead Poets Society. I think I have the most from 1989. 1989, I have almost the full album. But now. I also really like folklore. And this is really good too. Fine. This it's new album has a, has a handful of really good ones and then a lot that sound very similar. So. I downloaded Decimal. Let's talk favorite songs from Torture Post Department. Oh my god. Number We're one. We're going to just jump right in. We have questions. Let's answer the things about roller coasters and then we'll rewind, okay? <laughs> I know, I know. He, he just wants <laughs> to... We'll have a full live stream sometime that's just to talk no, about. No, we won't. <laughs> no, we won't. Uh, Harrison donated three Australian dollars. Thank you very much. And said, my home park is having you. It's closing. Ah, uh, Down Under. Oh, yeah. yeah, I guess that is a thing. That's yeah, so weird. That's, that is very bizarre. Coast Review, donate a dollar. Thank you. Appreciate wait, it. Wait, I think you missed one. Yeah, Maybe. wait, we missed oh. two. Ethan, donate five dollars. Hi, it's, Ethan! He saw the construction for Peppa Pig theme park near Fort Worth today. Uh, his hope was they'd be open by the summer, but it looks like that won't be the case. Yeah, you mentioned that in the group chat. I was like, dang, that kind of stinks. Yeah, um, I have not seen anything about the construction. So actually, you saying that is like brand new news to yeah. me. Um, so I, I don't know, like those things aren't that big. Like at least the one in, um, Florida is very, very small. Yeah. So like maybe, but also the Dallas, you could, you could get away with having that place open year round. I think so. Or yeah. like even for part of the year, just doing weekends, but you, you, you can have it open all year. There's only one roller coaster. Yeah. So like I, everything else is like slow moving. Like it shouldn't be weather dependent. You know, mm -hmm. so I mean, I guess there. That is a, a shame, though. I guess there'd be a splash pad, but just turn it off. You know? It'll you it'll know. open, yeah. I, I imagine if it's not this year, it'll be next year. I think it'll so. still be this year. Yeah. Um, and then Tyler donated to us. Says going to pass holder preview for Top Thrill Two. No, we do not have Cedar Point passes. Actually, I do, but I didn't want to go without him. So, I am a good girlfriend. All right, I could have ridden Top Thrill Two before him, and I didn't. Well, Let the record show I, have, I wasn't going to do that. I have had the same Cedar Fair Pass through King's Dominion since I got one. Although I guess technically now it's like the all parks, you know, passport as opposed to like, you guess you just get a gold pass. I don't know. It's very confusing. We'll be there for um, a I'm weekend, pretty though. sure though that I still have it as a platinum pass. I don't know how that works. Yeah, I don't know either. Yeah, I'm, this whole... Changeover is confused, and the merger is happening soon, so we'll probably get a brand new pass altogether. So, like Cedar Fair, why are you changing your passes when you know you're going to change them a year later? <laughs> I don't know. Whatever. All right. Uh, so go ahead if you'd like to now say your favorite songs off of okay. Tortured Poets. Tortured Poets. Top three. 
Uh, number one, I can do it with a broken heart. Definitely. I'm so depressed, I act like it's my birthday. Every day. Every day. That's, That's definitely so number good. one. Number two, um, who's afraid of little me? Correct answer. And then my number three, I, I would go with my boy only plays with his favorite toys? Breaks. Break, he only breaks his favorite toys. Okay, I'd say my number three might be the smallest man who ever lived. It's so good. I don't even think I'd put that in my top five. Oh God, it's so good. It's good. You're not I, a ballad person though. I, I love power ballads. It's just, yeah. after, it's so good. After that, maybe Guilty as Sin. That's a good one. That one's really good. Um, I also like So High School. That's like the Travis Kelsey song. They're both good. Um, yeah. Whatever, I'm, th I'm thinking of another one. Um, hold on. Cause I know there's an, oh. Singing my daddy, I love that one's I'm funny. That baby. one's funny. <laughs> no, I'm not, but you should see your face. face. That's so. <laughs> that line is so. Such funny. a burn to people who are like way overly invasive it's into famous people's so lives. So funny. Uh, anyway, Skyrim Studio donated five dollars. Says Taylor Swift retheme of Rock and Roller Coaster, and what songs would go well with it? Are you ready for it? No, that's one of them. Yeah. Chris L from Patreon. Hello. Uh, um, thank that's you. That's a great one. Ready for it is definitely. A top pick. I feel like you have to have a, a relentless song. So like a lot of reputation stuff would, yeah. would work for you. Getaway car. It's rock and roller coaster. Driving in a getaway car. That would oh, be, be a good. really good one. Oh um, God, I gotta think of another one. Maybe some other uh, speak now stuff. Um, I could because that kind of has like a hard, mm -hmm. harder like a you know like jam to it. Hmm. I, honestly, I don't care if it's like on a roller coaster. I'll jam the love story any day. <laughs> Um, I, I don't know. You you can't, you're putting me on the spot. I'd have to. I need to have a list. You're on of Patreon, songs. right? We'll talk about this another time. I need, yeah, I gotta think, oh, I, better than Revenge would be a good one. That'd be a good one. Yeah. Um, I need to have like a full. <laughs> Will we out. ever talk about roller coasters coaster tonight? Coaster Conquest. We'll I need two dollars. <laughs> it says, "How easy was it to navigate in Dubai?" That Hi, is a what's up, Chris? <laughs> great question. So, Dubai has very modern roads. However, they did not design the roads to have much notice for the exits. And so true. the exits come up very suddenly and sometimes you have to like get over several lanes in a very short amount of time. So there were several times where we missed an exit and had to do like this obnoxious U-turn. Actually, the first night we got there, um, like immediately, like I'm driving, I'm like, you know, the, our guy who gave us the rental car gave us the rundown, like, oh, don't speed while you're in Dubai, you know, make yeah, sure you use your blinker all, every single time, you know, and all this stuff. And uh, he said, um, yeah, just, you know, be, be careful. And everyone there drives a little chaotic, but they're all very good at driving chaotic. <laughs> and so um, That's fair. I missed an exit going to our hotel. And that was stressful, trying to, like, loop back around and find the hotel. But, but I feel I, like that's any time you're somewhere new. It gets, like, like in a new yeah. country. It's, it's, I feel like it's easier there than, like, okay, we were in... Egypt. That was. I would never ever be in a vehicle. There. I would, like I would never drive a vehicle. There's no scenario where I'd ever drive a car in, in Cairo ever. Yeah, that was horrible. No. Um, but I will oh. say that Dubai got easier the longer we were there. Um, Abu Dhabi wasn't as chaotic to drive in. For, um, can I just acknowledge this is a new thing? I think that people can like other people's super chats. Yeah, I think that's new as well. I've never noticed before, but I'm just watching likes go up on like people's questions and I'm like, wow, I've never noticed this before. Yeah, that's pretty cool. So I just wanna say the reason I just clapped was the longest video that will have ever gone out on Coaster Studios just finished exporting. It is 56, 57, minutes. 57 minutes long. It's 56, 56. It is, <laughs> it is insane how long it is and that's I think the that video it, for tomorrow. Yeah, this video for tomorrow, assuming it, you know, uploads properly. But I think that this is some of our best work as far as vlogging goes. Um, I think everyone's going to love it. It is. It's a, an amazing park. Like, everyone knows that Motion Gate is, like, cool, obviously. But this, like, really shows how insanely amazing yeah. Motion Gate is. So the reason why you should watch uh, the video tomorrow. So um, not only is the footage nice, but it is extremely detailed. So yes. we got to film on every single major attraction. Dark rides, coasters, everything. It's such yes. a good video. Um, and the quality, I mean, everything looks great. Um, for those who missed it, uh, I said it's Motion Gate. It's a, the vlog from Motion Gate. It's very if, good. If you've never heard of Motion Gate, it is the universal of Dubai. Um, yes. It is definitely 
their best theme park. It has a lot of intellectual properties that you guys might be familiar with, such as the DreamWorks characters like Shrek. Oh, the Shrek ride! How to Train Your Dragon, um, Madagascar, uh, Kung Fu Panda, and then you could find all their properties like the Hunger Games, uh, John Wick, Now You See Me, yeah, I never saw the that. Smurfs. Um, Green Hornet? Green Hornet. I didn't know what Fighters that was. Fighters the Chance of Meatballs, Ghostbusters, Hotel Transylvania. Wow, there's like, a lot there. These, these, there's so much in this park. It was insane. And I can't wait for you guys to see this video. And I hope that um, it gets the, the views because... I hope people was... don't turn away when they see the time. Like, watch it, even if you have to watch it in segments, but watch it, please. Yeah, just put... If you, have, if you can't watch it in the moment, just put it on your watch later. Throw it up on a TV. This is one to watch just like... Um, on a on a larger screen, I think it with really, a with a hot cup of tea and some popcorn, or something, something like that. And uh, I hope that it also gets more people who are interested in going to Motion Gate because it was a park that it like okay, it wasn't the deadest of the parks that we did on that trip. Um, there were some rides like one ride that we did had like a forty five minute line, um, but it was also low capacity. There were several rides there that we walked right onto, um, but it still should be getting more attendance than it is oh definitely agreed um like it could be doing like it, it should it has the capability of doing like big numbers big big numbers like Hopefully a like some. a sea world park or a, you know maybe not quite a universal park but the level of detail and theming is very it's like a, just below universal for the most part some is on, on par. So I'm going to go to some of the super chats because we're getting behind on them okay. so look Lucas donated two dollars said do you think Tiana's buy you eventually will be good Yes. I do. Yes. I do. The animatronics look just out of this world. Amazing. Like, I cannot believe it. Yeah. Um, so that I'm very excited about. I know it'll be, it'll have less than Splash Mountain did because Splash Mountain had very, like, simple animatronics. And, yeah. and these are, like, so detailed and, like, crazy. So I think it'll be really good. It looks really pretty. So I'm excited to ride it. Yeah. Um, uh, War donated $10. Thank you very much. I saw your construction update at my home park, Bush Gardens Tampa. Went the other day, and they've excelled a ton after you guys, your update. It's crazy how fast it's getting installed. Yeah, we're actually doing a construction tour, like, this week, right? Yep, yep. So that's that should like be crazy. really good. Yeah, I'm excited to see how it looks, because last time I was there, they had the drop done and the lift hill done, and that was pretty much it. And so now, like, everything else is done. So that should be really cool. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Uh... Then Ja X donate two dollars says, "When are you guys writing the new Sky Rush?" So great know. question. Soon? We we want to, but we haven't planned a trip out to do it yet. So it'll happen. Here's but... the thing: I still have family that lives back in New Jersey, which is where I'm from, and I never really go a summer without visiting. We always go together for like two weeks. Um, and that being said, Hershey is only a like two hour drive from there. Yeah. So we'll go. It'll probably be over the summer at some point. Yeah. Also, Rufus is eating his dinner. He's very busy right now. And he's <laughs> destroying his toys. Um, he'll make an appearance. Don't worry. Um, for us, uh, Abueda, donated $5, says, uh, just wondering why do the coast reviews take much longer to produce? For example, when is the Flying Aces review coming out? So um, there's two sides to this. So there's like the actual editing time and then there's like the how often to put them out. So um, the reviews are spaced out so that there's a, a decent amount of time between the vlog where it gets discussed in and then the actual like video because we don't want to um, put out too much um, in between. The only exceptions are like when it's a new roller coaster. So like when Airy Force came out, uh, the vlog and the review came out pretty uh, close together and, and the same will be for Iron Menace. I'm almost done working on that. Yeah. Um, they take longer to actually edit because um, you the, all the footage is very meticulously um, cut, colored, and placed um, so that it's timed all right with uh, the narration, just making sure that everything like sounds right, that it flows together. Um, so that's why it, it takes a little bit longer to do. But you know, we typically do like one review, one coaster review a week. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, that's why like some we of- We got so much content, y'all. We have to kind of spread it out. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing. So like some of the ones that are coming out now are some of the ones from like this past year's Europe trip. And then we'll start seeing the um, Dubai reviews come out relatively soon. Um, but we, again, we only do the ones that are like 
worthy of it. So like the first one to come out from Dubai will probably be like the Storm Coaster because that was the first park that we did that featured a, a roller coaster that's really worthy of one. You know, like a lot of the others are like smaller roller coasters that don't need one. I saw someone's asking like what you're doing. She's shushing the dog. I know. I'm Rufus so sorry. Rufus is the dog. In case you have yeah, no Ru idea. Rufus is is. Uh... He is causing a commotion. You need to calm down, buddy. Yeah. Um, so. <laughs> You'll have your moment. So, anyways, yeah. Taylor said I can't leave him on screen the whole time. Blame him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you all can hear him? Oh, jeez. That's funny. Um, all right, let's see. Uh, <laughs> any other super chest? Our can? king is near. Oh, um, my gosh. Wait, what? What is all over the floor? What did he shred? Um, Rufus, you killed your sheep. Uh, here's a great question. Uh, what do you think of Steel Curtain closed for 2024? Um, I think it is fine because I would like, I think it's good of them to address the, the issues that have been coming out. They've been putting a Band-Aid on something that needed surgery for several years. And so I, I hope that this is giving it the uh, attention that it needs so that it can operate consistently. Because clearly they wouldn't close it for a full year if it wasn't something that was serious. Like, think about it this way. Parks want all of their attractions to be open every single yeah. day because uh, it negatively affects them if they're not because then you get unhappy guests and you get people that are frustrated. And so, like, it's in their benefit to have a major attraction like that open. And so they wouldn't do it if it's not absolutely necessary. That being said, um, I don't think it was great that they waited so last minute to tell people. Well, yeah, because they're probably about season passes already. Yeah, I think, I think that was not... A great move. I wish that they had given more notice um, for people. Um, but uh, yeah, I, to our knowledge, we don't, it's not been publicly revealed what um, the issue is. I know some people have speculated that it could be a structural issue. I feel like that would make a lot of sense because uh, if it is, that could be why it's requiring a, a full year, you know, because something serious, like if, you know, imagine if it's something that with the footers or like, or pieces of steel that need to be replaced. You know, that's well, not a, that's not a small thing to do. The thing is, like, First of all, I know everyone hates on SNS because of this ride. They, you shouldn't. Because SNS did not do the construction of this ride, and that's where the problem lies. At least as far as, you know, we know. And I hope that that's something they can, like, really take time, this full amount of time, to fix it so it can run reliably the way SNS intended for it to operate. Yeah, yeah. Because they've done several other roller coasters that, that operate uh, just fine. So, yeah, that's a... The whole construction side of um, building attractions is a really interesting one because like some companies will uh, have their teams build their own rides, such as uh, RMC and Vacoma. They all have their own construction teams. But then you have um, companies like B&M. B&M is just a design team. And then they hire uh, Claremont Steel Fabricators uh, as the outsource to like build the track. And then uh, if a park builds a B&M, they are hiring a team to actually put the ride together. Um, and like the cost that they paid for the attraction is not including the time that it takes to put it together and, the, yeah. and that money. So that's something I didn't know. I always thought when you bought a coaster, it included the, cons the build, cost to like build it. building it. But no. you can outsource that. Like you buy all the parts, and then you can have someone else put it together. Essentially, I think yeah. That's more for steel <laughs> coasters, though. It's, uh, yeah, coasters like, usually it's done like a lot of times. It's done yeah, on site like by. GCI builds their own rides. Gravity Group builds their own rides. Um, so yeah, it's just it's very interesting. Um, the whole that whole side of things. So yeah, um, I'm hopeful that uh, everything is fine with Steel Curtain for 2025. Yeah. Um, and our condolences to everyone who's going to Kennywood this year for the first time that won't be able to ride it. But um, in the future, that mean, might mean a lot more people can ride it on like a daily basis. Honestly, the best ride there is Phantom's Revenge. So. Yeah, I wouldn't even say Steel Curtain is my second favorite there, to be honest. Is a, is a Jackrabbit thing. <laughs> that's, a tough, that's a tough one. That ride is awesome. Jackrabbit has one amazing moment, and then the rest of it is forgettable. But the rest of the, that one moment is worth it. It's pretty, moment. yeah, it's pretty insane. Um, I saw something that I wanted to answer, but I've now lost it. There's a lot of people in here right now, and everything's going really fast. It's funny because I feel like this is more people at a time than we've had uh, on a live stream in a bit. Yeah. So, so what's up, everybody? Welcome it, back. It's great to have you all here. Um, per Mayor Per Terrace donated five British pounds. Says I'm currently planning my first solo road trip. It'll be a coaster road trip, predictably. Any advice? Um, Pace yourself and give extra time in case something happens. Like, yeah. 
if you plan it all down to like the minute and to the day where there's no time in between. If something like, goes wrong, you're screwed. Yeah, like I, this isn't a coaster road trip, but I, I went on a road trip uh, out west to do a bunch of national parks and uh, we had a tire blowout um, between two parks. And thankfully we had like another day to supplement to like actually get something in because that whole day was lost. So you never know what's gonna happen. You really don't. So yeah. that would be my biggest advice. Yeah, I and would eat, say that. Eat well. Don't eat crappy theme park food the whole time. Eat yeah. well so you don't feel like crap. Um, my other piece of advice I would give is um, be mindful of park hours and use that to your advantage. So like I found when it comes to theme park road trips, it is in your benefit to be at the park for opening and then do your driving between parks at night. Um, the only times where that kind of sucks is if they have really late hours. Um, I can see because of your super chat that you are from the UK. So uh, that's a perfect example because all the parks there close at like five or six. So you can do your travel uh, in the evening and then you can be there when they open at like nine or 10. Yeah. Um, I think that that is much better than getting there a little late because you had to wake up really early to, to travel. Um, it'll, it, the only times it really sucks is when it's like 10 o'clock closure or later, like uh, it's, really tough when you go uh, during Halloween time. Yeah, uh, that's, Oof, a, they're that's brutal because the whole park's closed late and then they open early and you're like, crap. <laughs> All right, I want to try to get through because uh, Brian is a saint. He sent me chats that went by too quickly. Like there's a lot, so we're trying to keep up. Um, so I'm going to answer uh, the ones that we missed. Uh, James Tang donated $10 and said, I've been away from the coaster community for a year and a half now since I joined a band. Congratulations. Wow. And haven't had the time or money to hit parks. Tell me everything I've missed. Wow. A year and a half of everything that you missed? I'm um, going to I'm gonna give you, uh, a, instead of going through everything, because that will take us a really long time, um, we have The dog Rufus just knocked the camera. I know, because he's playing with his husky. He likes to destroy. Um, I would say we do a video every year that is like the craziest theme park news of the year. So go and watch those and that'll catch you up on like the last two at least. Yeah, that's great. And then watch some vlogs or whatever. There's lots of great channels that cover everything, but going over every single thing, uh, the biggest thing is Cedar Fair and Six Flags Virgin. I yep, like that's, that's pretty huge. Uh, yeah. Yeah, uh, Disney's invested investing $60 billion in, in their parks and their cruise Apparently. line. and. Everything that's a pretty big deal. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Fun Spot Atlanta built an RMC. That's yeah, pretty, that's a that's weird pretty, one, that's right? That's pretty crazy. <laughs> uh, Chad donated two dollars. Said, "Will you guys be at Doherty's preseason event? We were at the media day for Iron Menace, so we will not. We just got back from Dorney. Um, there's a chance that we return later this year, but we don't know when that would be, and it definitely won't be for preseason. So yeah. Uh, Coaster Review donated two dollars. Said, "Is Dubai worth the money or no?" If you're referring to the money to travel there, you can find some pretty good deals. Like we flew, our one way to get there was four hundred. Yeah, four hundred dollars from the U.S. to Doha, and it's then we connected to Dubai for an extra hundred bucks, I think. No, no. Or no, the four hundred was total. Yeah, that was total. Oh, I didn't. Re I thought that was just the first leg. Oh, no, okay. that was total. It yeah, was, it was four hundred. No, it, it wasn't so. bad at all. Like I've. I've seen flights like around the U.S. for that same price. Yeah, like, exactly. One way, like depending on where you're going, and um, yeah, I think that when you're actually there, um, the prices for different items is fairly comparable to the United States. Maybe a little bit more expensive, um, but it. I don't know. Like, it's like any major city where, like, the further you get out from like the hub things are a little bit cheaper versus if you're in the really touristy areas, then things cost more. So uh, the thing that is the most expensive in Dubai is is honestly the theme parks. Yeah. They're, they're overpriced and that's why they don't get a lot of attendance. Um, yeah. it, it, I think it costs too much to get into them. Yeah, get the pass, like the city pass. city pass. That was good. We got city pass. The main thing that um, I regret with that is um, I found out after it was too late that the passes are, are good for one time at each location. But if you do the ghost city, then you can save a lot of money. Cause like, if you watch our IMG video, I kind of explain it. It's like that part cost a hundred dollars, US dollars normally to get into, which is crazy for, for that. Like it's a great park, but I would say it should be, I mean, you could even 75 would be more reasonable for that. Like, and so we got like a, it was like a four pass option where we paid, where it would have been like the equivalent of like $60 per item for four. What's 60 times four? 100, 240. 240. So we paid like 240 bucks and we got four things. And so um, depending on what you use them for, 
that can save you money. So like, you know, IMG where it's normally a hundred bucks, we would have saved essentially $40 by doing that. But like, you could also use Go City for like, uh, let's say, I don't know, a, a, a Dune activity where it's like normally 30 bucks. And so in that case, you would actually be spending more to do it. So it's just about how you be, are smart with it. But all the parks in the Emirates are expensive. So. Um, I just want to acknowledge this comment. Someone said that their daughter named two goldfish after us. Um, and they're still alive after two years. Really? I love that. Um, I love that so Taylor much. Taylor and Sarah the fish, please like send a picture. Yeah, like, I'd love to see Tweet this. it or tag us in an Instagram post or something. Like I want to see the fish. It's very fitting because that is about the capacity of my memory, that of a goldfish. Um, <laughs> Enthusiast Central donated $2 said, what is the best trip you've been on and why? That is hard. <laughs> best trip based off of what? Like off of anything, most I guess. fun or like most or like coolest places or like I, I feel like our first iteration of coast into Europe was like insane like that trip was just that so was fun. awesome I loved this past Emirates trip yeah that, that was did. so fun um, such a good time. the Japan trip I did in 2019 was incredible I don't know like it's just I don't it's know why it's, that's really really tough can I just love them all yeah I will predict that uh two of the one for sure of the trips we have planned for this year will probably end up being one of my favorites of all time but we haven't said what they are yet, but they're happening. Yeah, there's still more. I My whole there's thing really is... really more coming. My favorites are easily the ones that are um, involving international travel. Like, I am at the point where I get exponentially more excited for something if it is outside of the United States versus <laughs> inside. So... Um, okay. Antarctica win. You got me. Uh, Mid-course discourse. I like that. Donated $5. And said, how do you bring a camera and multiple lenses to parks, ride majority of coasters together, and film all while maintaining security? Uh, great question. Um, Very carefully. Yeah. So um, we, uh, I would say that most parks allow a camera and lenses into a park, but some are more um, strict about it than others. Like Six Flags is a little weird about it, um, where they're inconsistent, where sometimes they're like, oh, you can't bring that camera in, and it's like, no, we've definitely brought it in before and never had an issue. Uh, and sometimes they'll be like, well, that lens is too long. You can't bring in that one. Um, the Dubai parks were really strict about this. They were um, they were pretty strict about, like, cameras with detachable lenses and stuff. Um, so it helps that, you know, sometimes when we know that there's going to be restrictions, we try and work with the parks so that we make sure that we don't have any issues. Oh, yeah. Because... Um, uh, sometimes it can also be there can be miscommunication between like marketing departments and security and, and oftentimes I've seen this plenty of times security misunderstands what the actual rules are mm -hmm. um, like for the longest time at Six Flags I had an issue uh, getting my gimbal in because um, people at security misunderstood it as a tripod or a selfie stick they're like no tripods or selfie sticks sir and I'm like this isn't a tripod or a selfie stick and they're like, what is it? I'm a, it's a gimbal. I explain what it is. And they're like, hmm, that sounds like something that shouldn't be allowed. I'm like, S but I'm familiar <laughs> with the rules. And I've seen on the website, there are no rules against it. And then, like, yeah, I always have to call someone over. And then they always end up saying, all right, you're good. But, like, it, it's an, always an ordeal. So, like, you know, I like it. What, play, Cedar Fair is great. Because they don't, you can do whatever. <laughs> Just bring whatever camera you want. They don't care. But not on rides. There's <laughs> not too many on people rides. filming illegal stuff and we don't like don't it. Don't film on rides unless you have permission. we wouldn't do it, no one should be doing yeah. it. It's bad. Uh, wait, was that a question? No, we already did that one. Oh. Jonathan donated $5, said I live in Kentucky. Thank you very much. Uh, and go to Kings Island every year. Can't wait to ride Beast at night. Me too. Uh, by the way, Son of Beast was so janky and terrifying. Wow, you actually get to ride it. Wow, yeah. I'm kind of jealous. Like... I don't know. I've done other RCCA coasters, but none of them have, an, have had an inversion. And I really want to know what that would be like. Yeah. I imagine terrible, but yeah. Yeah, I'd love definitely. To, to know. Um, I mean, we did Bandit at Movie Park Germany. I feel like that gives us a pretty good That's idea. That's why I said it needs an inversion yeah. so I can really get the full effect. Jeez. Uh, Jake, donate $5, says, What are your thoughts on all the new stuff coming to Orlando? Such as SeaWorld 60th, uh, Epic Universe, all the new stuff potentially coming to Disney. Excitement, but also a bit of dread. And I will tell you why. Uh, we live here in Orlando. We are very central, um, which means we have to deal with a lot of uh, road pattern problems, a lot of construction, a lot of traffic, and congestion. And it makes things a bit tough sometimes. But to me, it is worth it 
but it is also going to be a transition having Epic here because they're changing different things around with the roads and it's going to drive costs up a lot here. So it's it's like a, like there's good and bad things. Yeah, but I mean, Epic Universe, I mean, that's going to be the thing that everyone's excited about for 2025. What year is it? 2020, yeah, for 2025, that's going to be the thing that everyone's talking about. Um, oh, yeah. But, uh, I mean, Penguin Trek is great. I'm... Interested in seeing uh, how the um, Dino Land redo goes Animal Kingdom. I think that that's a very long overdue um, addition. So that should be exciting. Beyond Big Thunder, I think could be promising. We'll see when it actually happens, but that is also gonna be like pretty cool. As long as it doesn't take six years to build like Tron. Please, <laughs> yeah. please. Uh, uh, Ethan donated $5, said so Hollywood, thank you. Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket may be closing yeah. next year. That's what would replace it's it? It's actually on the same topic as what we were just talking about. Um, first off, everyone, go check out the problematic uh, Hollywood Rip Ride Rocket video. Oh my gosh, El Ryan's video is El so Toro good. El Ryan just put out yesterday. Uh, he's, he was working on that video for like two months. Um, it's, it's great. It's very well done. Definitely it's go shocking. see it. Um, <laughs> it is very eye-opening about how, just how problematic that ride is. I and had no idea. The fact that this ride is well beyond its its years this thing should have been taken out already um yeah there, but when you spend what what did he figure out was it was like stat. almost th what was it almost 300 million it was two the park has been estimated to spend 270 million dollars on hollywood rip ride rocket over <clears throat> since they bought it so including on the maintenance. Initial, in, including the initial cost um everything they've done to maintain it 270 million dollars is the estimate and that is insane because if they had just gone with another manufacturer, then that probably wouldn't have happened. Like, there's just no way that it would have cost that much if they had gone with, like, an Intamin or that B or B and M, said, like they originally tried. That being said, um, I feel that they will, will want to go safe with the manufacturers that they know. Um, I agree. And I doubt they're going to want to risk it. So I don't see them really working with... We actually did a video talking about this a bit um, at Universal. I, th I thought that was a really good video. You should watch it if yeah, you have it. Yeah, it was a good video. Um... I don't know if I could see them working with Gersauer because they haven't before and like they haven't worked with RMC before and like they have done B&M but there's so many B&Ms at SeaWorld. It's just, yeah. I feel like they're probably going to go with Intimate again. I I think either them or Mock. I really Yeah, do. I think it'll be one of the, because they're clearly really into Mock right now. Yeah, yeah. Like uh, the idea of like a striker coaster, like Voltron could be cool. I, I think I said this in earlier. My only concern with that is that it, could potentially feel too similar to um, Starfall Racers. Like, I know that that's dueling, but, like, if you just look at, like, one side, yeah. is that, would that layout feel too similar to Starfall Racers? Or would it even matter? Would anyone even care? Give me an extreme spinner. <laughs> it, I don't think it will happen. I know, but dang, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I would never leave Orlando ever again. <laughs> so there's been some speculation that it could be um, the uh, rotating vehicle st uh, style setup that we're getting with... Um, uh, Hollywood Drift, uh, that new Intamin coaster. I would love that. That could be cool, and that would be different enough. Um, I would be curious in knowing how extreme they would go, because uh, obviously you do have Velocicoaster just one park over. So yeah. the, it would have to be done in a way that is uh, different, uh, like even beyond just the fact that you have different vehicles. Like the layout would have to be fundamentally different. Um, but I think it could be very promising. I... I'm excited for this. I hope the ride closes. I'd be fine with it closing tomorrow. Like, <laughs> oh, I'd like to get another ride in. <laughs> okay, uh, two days so I can go yeah, get another give me ride. A, give me a chance. Yeah, I I won't miss that ride. I really won't. It's mm -hmm. it's iconic for the park, but it's it's it, it's time. It, it needs to go. Yeah. Um, Andrew Platt donated five dollars. So I've spent my whole life in Utah, getting sick of Lagoon. Oh, uh, moving to Orlando this fall, wow, getting annual passes. I mean, did you not do that? I guess I did do that. You did. <laughs> uh, and you passed everything. See you at Epic. See you there. Congratulations. That's awesome. That's really funny. Very happy for you. Yeah. This is a great place. It's funny. It's funny. So for those of you know, that don't know, I went to school out in Utah. So uh, I had five years in Utah where from September to April, Lagoon was my home park. And so even not being there for the summer, just the, the times when I was there and like the off season or the fall, the spring, whatever, I still was like, you know, I enjoy going to Lagoon, but I was like, ah, I'm ready for to do something else. So I, I would try and do like a different trip here and there when you can. But when you're out in Utah, I get it. It's tough. Like 
Uh, your closest park outside of that is like Glenwood Caverns, probably. It's people, us. people or think, Dis- oh, go to Disneyland. Yeah, yeah, or Disneyland, literally. And some people think, oh, Silverwood's out there uh, from the Salt Lake region. That's like a twelve-hour drive. <laughs> it's not close. Yeah, so, a- yeah, I understand the struggle. I do. Um, Mid course discourse donated two dollars. Said, did you see Tokyo Space Mountain drop track? Nope. But drop thanks, track. Thanks for the spoiler. <laughs> what? <laughs> That's crazy. Is that real? I don't know. The I Tokyo see. Space Mountain will have a drop track? How did you find that out? Yeah, cite your sources. But that's Is there cool. a picture of that? There's no way. If that's true, that's friggin' awesome. I saw there's like, suppose, it's supposed to be an Intamin. Yeah. Which is... Which, I, It'll probably be like Uncharted. An Intamin at, at Tokyo Disney. That's crazy. It's amazing. I mean, I mean they I guess, do have one. Yes, but... Modern intimate. Yeah, it's A modern crappy. intimate. That's insane. Uh, Smoking Thrills donated two dollars. Said thanks for the cameo, Starliner. Thank you for sending one in. You rock. Uh, Coaster Swifty says, since you live in Florida, what were your thoughts on Florida by Taylor Swift? Florida. Uh, it was good. It was really weird. A drug. It's a weird song, but the more I listened to it, the more I was like, wait, this is like good. Florida. Yeah, um, it, the first listen, you're like, whoa. Yeah. Like I, I, I always am. Excited when someone figures out new things to do with music, and that was a sound that I've never heard. Uh, yeah, that's that very was cool. very interesting. Um, yeah, I I wish it was a little bit longer. It felt like it ended kind of. And Florence. It, it had a weird ending. Uh, love it. Yeah, Florence. Um, Florence the Machine, man, crazy. Uh, and there's essential donated two dollars. Said it was raining at Carowinds, and I rode Fury. It hurt. I bet it did. Yeah, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm it, sure did. it did. Sure um, <laughs> did. Bass donated two dollars. Says favorite coaster from the Dubai trip. Um, I mean, it's pretty it's much not a secret. Aces. It's Flying Aces, definitely. That was just, like, incredible. Uh, and you can see our on-ride reaction from that out already, even though we have not posted the Ferrari World videos yet. Yeah, um, that was which amazing. Is, yeah, th- those are coming soon. So we have Motion Gate coming out tomorrow. Uh, the next one after that is going to be Warner Brothers Movie World, which is an incredible park. Yeah. And then after that is Ferrari World. Um, and then after that, we go back to SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. And then after that, we go back to Ferrari World again. It's a hell of a run, those episodes. Yeah, yeah. Like, people are like, it hasn't been any big perks yet. I'm like, buckle yeah. up. All of them buckle are coming. Up. Here they come. There's two of them for C. Like, we're getting another SeaWorld one, and there will be a second Ferrari one. Yeah. Um, and they're good. Like, they're not, it's not just, like, um, another video where we do all the same rides again, and it feels, like, identical to the first one. No, we like, did they, they are distinctly different videos. There are different things that happen in each of them. Yes. So. Um, that's why it's going to be pretty cool. I am excited. Uh, MJW Vlogs donated three British pounds. Said, hi, guys. Hello. Thank Hello. you for saying hi. Yeah. <laughs> JB donated $5 says, Kingsman is my home park. Are you cool with the wing coaster edition or should have they <laughs> taken a different route? Are we cool with it? I, I'm cool with it. I'm fine with it. Um, I don't think it'll be as good as Volcano, but it is a, it is an addition that works well I think I said this a while back, but my biggest thing about it is I would have liked to have seen a wing coaster somewhere else in the park, and then they go with a different type of ride for where Volcano used to be. Because um, I think actually a launch wing coaster is an excellent fit for King's Dominion. It is. But like as a replacement for Volcano, it's a little disappointing. So I would have liked to see that where Anaconda is. Yeah, that like would a, cool. a launch wing coaster where Anaconda is, or even like do a Cedar Point like front gate thing, or or there's a ton of room by Grizzly. I'm pretty sure they also are taking out the go karts. So like, there's a ton of space there that they could put in a new roller coaster. So I don't know. Maybe the launch wing coaster is like fine for Volcano, but then we'll get a different type of ride somewhere else. Although I I think. Their next coaster should be a family coaster because uh, their past three have been thrills. So I'll I, be honest with you. I think a lot of parks going forward are going to be playing it safe because yeah. uh, there you can't hide anything anymore. If something happens at your park, um, everyone's going to know about it. And if someone people have bad experiences, everyone's going to know about it. So I don't know how much people are going to want to play around with you know, being experimental with coasters or going with anything that doesn't have a less than stellar, perfect track record. Yeah, like, um, I mean, King's Man's doing that because, like, anyone who's ridden Thunderbird knows that ride is amazing. Like, that is a fan... It's smooth, it's, it's reliable. It's a fantastic ride. Um, but someone does bring up a good point that they hope that the new King's Dominion B&M wing coaster does not follow the route of some of the recent B&Ms that have come out that are very jittery and, yeah. and shaky. Like, um... Iron Menace definitely had it, and uh, it's got moments. Um, Mandrel Mayhem had it. Uh, Doctor Diabolical had it. So, like, 
I don't know. We'll we'll see. I hope that it's smooth. I really do, because like Thunderbird's smooth, and that's fantastic. Yes. Uh, Sam donated five dollars. Said, "What kind of coaster do you think Great America should get, considering their fiftieth anniversary is in 2026?" First of all, thank you. Um, hmm. RMC Raptor or SNS Axis? Either oh, one. No. And I want to see an Axis at like so many Six Flags parks. I really do. Yeah. They, like, ugh, I think those perfect. two are great. The only other one I would be down for is like a new Vacoma. I think that that'd be pretty sick. Oh, I think it's entirely possible because Vacoma yeah. is kind of the it girl right now. Vacoma's such the it girl right such now. Such an it girl. <laughs> I love it. That's great. I'm going to grab a drink. Yeah, go for it. Uh, Jake donated $2 and said we better get a troller coaster in depth review. Oh, yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Well, okay. To be fair, it is the same. Roller coaster. It's just rethemed. So, I mean, did you review the first one, or you don't review oh, kids coasters? Kids coasters. Yeah, we yeah, will in the video. Yeah. Whenever we ride it in the vlog, we will. If any kids coasters getting a review, it's Daddy Pig and oh. Peppa Pig. <laughs> you heard the man. Well, okay. I think I think we caught. I think we. Caught, no, we did not catch up. Um, I actually thought for an April Fool's video some year, it'd be funny to do like a very serious review about the dog fart coaster. Like, th I think I, I think that'd be pretty funny. Okay, revive Don't one. Know what will happen. Revive one defunct dark ride slash coaster model each. Coaster model. Oof. Hmm. Is the Ultra Twister defunct? Hmm. I would love to, to see more of those. They're cool. Togo's defunct. So yeah. yeah. Ultra Twister. That, that's a great pick, actually. Um. Crap, now that you mentioned that, I don't know, maybe that'd be my pick as well. Because, really? like, yeah, Togo's defunct, so an Ultra Twister, that'd be, yeah, more of those would be sick. Bring back Arrow, just bring back Arrow, period. Because, like, okay, before, like, now that Vacoma is coming out with, like, more tilt coasters, you could have said that that was almost, like, a defunct model. Because, like, they did one with Gravity Max, and then we never saw another one ever again. Oh, it's back. <laughs> so, like, but now that we're getting a modern one, like, that's sick. So, yeah, I like the idea of more Ultra Twisters. That'd yeah. Be, that'd be sweet. Uh, Morris Plays Games donated five dollars. Thank you. I'm planning a coaster trip to Europe next year. You're having your coasting through Europe moment. I'm excited for you. I was wondering if y'all had tips to make transportation as cheap as possible, referring to flights. Um, I would say that my best suggestions are one, being flexible with your dates of like yep. starting and ending. Um, if you're flexible with that, you can pick the days that have the cheapest flights, and being flexible with airports. So like. You know, if, if you have multiple airports in your area and one is cheaper than another, I would, you know, even if you got to drive an extra hour or something, I say do it. Like, I've had friends that live in, like, the Philly area and they look for international flights out of Philly. And then I'm like, if you just go, like, an extra, like, hour or so to New York <coughs> and it's, like, half the cost. And I'm like, it's worth the extra time and stuff. So. Yeah, um, definitely uh, um, keep in mind the typically the bigger the airport, the more options there are for um, international destinations and then typically you can also get a lower price so um, I would say look at where you want to go and find the biggest hub to fly into as your starting point so like London is probably the most common um, launching off point for getting to Europe from the United States there are so many flights to London so and then when you leave you can say uh so long, London. Come on! I, I'm not singing along, but... Darn it, I thought he was going to sing along. Nope. We've been talking about the new Taylor Swift album, so I thought it was appropriate. Apparently not. Um, <laughs> Jesus Loves Coasters donated $2 and said, Did you watch the Drake Bell documentary? Uh, Quiet on set? We did watch Quiet on set. Um, yes, we did. I don't really want to talk about it because I cried a lot watching it. And it afterward, was... reflecting on some things in my own life that were... Um, about like past jobs and stuff that I've had that were it's a lot it was tough it was a tough watch yeah. um, it was heartbreaking yeah. yeah it kind of painted our youth and like our, the entertainment we consumed and yeah. it, it just changed everything so. so this person's referring to the Tokyo uh, Space Mountain drop track and said that they found it on Reddit the track section looks very similar to the drop track on Hagrid's interesting dude if the new Space Mountain at Tokyo had a drop track. That's insane. How is that possible in space? There's no gravity. You can't drop like that. You just float. It's space, right? Okay, no. All right. I mean, you're just, wow. You are not having me today. 
Someone wants to know, did we do the coaster in the Ferrari World Mall? Yes. Yeah, we did. It is, it is featured in the Warner Brothers video. We do it uh, after that park. Oh my gosh, every time I think, I'm like, oh, I think we caught up. Nope, we did not. No, we did not. Okay, I, there we go. Um, Northerners can't comprehend what I'm thinking right <laughs> cheer now. Cheer, <laughs> wow. Um, Tony Morrow donated $2, said, well, Hollywood's new coaster top Velocicoaster. Mm. If it's like Velocicoaster, but like spinning, it's, it's, it could. I don't, that's gonna be, uh, that's, that's a tough one to beat. Yeah, I don't feel like the layout is as good, but like. But it's rotating, so it's gonna, you know, like if you look right. at the Guardians layout, it's pretty simple, but then when you add the control yeah. rotation, it's like a whole different it's game. It's gonna be very interesting. Who said they wish Richmond had cheer wine? They do, look harder. Oh, they do actually, <laughs> that's, I can confirm. Go to any cookout, they have cheer wine. Oh my gosh. Uh, BGA <laughs> Studios donated two dollars and said, my fave coaster is Blue Hawk. What do you think? I think you're weird. I think you need better taste. <laughs> For real, though, that ride sucks. <laughs> it's okay. Um, Ethan donated $5. Thank you. And said, you should have done the Dog Fart Coaster Review this year for April Fool's. Right. So, so here's the genuine truth. Uh, uh, we sort of forgot about April We Fool's forgot. Day. There was no other reason other than we were so, like, focused on the Coaster Series. We were we at just Silver Dollar City. Um, for Fire in the Hole a few days before April Fool's. It was like two days before and we're like, uh, April Fool's is in two days and we're like, well, mm -hmm. uh-oh. We had nothing. We had absolutely nothing. And Sorry, we'll try so, again next year. Like, okay, I shouldn't say we have nothing. We had a couple ideas, nothing that was feasible to do like that would have been good. It you know us, we go over the top. It would have been crappy. I don't know. Hi, other mom. Both my moms Hi, are in here. my real mom. <laughs> our, both of our both moms are in here. Um, let's see. Um, Tony Morrow donated two dollars again. Thank you. And said, as a Disneylander, I prefer Magic Kingdom Space Mountain. That is a Me too. common opinion. It's jankier. However, but it's better. However, it's so much better. Disneyland Space Mountain has a better station, and it has the soundtrack. soundtrack. And the soundtrack is incredible. But the layout with like the rest of the ride is better. I I like that the that there is airtime on Magic Kingdoms. Um, but it you have to be prepared for the jank. Um, I kind of miss it. We should go this week. <laughs> uh, uh, Cleveland CBI donated five dollars. Said read the terrifying seatbelt only drop tower comments. Some are hilarious. What was my daughter making my comments? By the way, that's funny. Yeah. Okay. They're not. They're not scary. <laughs> yeah, well, they're startling. It's a little but it's not because of the restraint. <laughs> yeah. It was um, very sudden. <laughs> so what's the deal with Vacoma's new tilt coaster? I thought it got canceled. Uh, you're probably thinking of the Energy Landia one got canceled. There's one for the U.S. that's not. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Uh. Coda Lands is still happening. They. I mean, they're not vertical on it yet, but there is a bunch of track on site. So uh, like, I, I, who knows when it's gonna open though. Um, Jay donated $10. Thank you so much. Hey, Taylor and Sarah, congrats on 250K plus subs. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, two questions. Are you guys excited for Top Thrill 2? Yes. Yeah, definitely. I'm very, I'm very curious more than anything. Did you get on Formula Rosa during your No. Trip? It's a, it's a sore subject at the moment. We did not. Um, <laughs> no. And you will see. So I have to see what <laughs> volume and close. Yeah, so here's a spoiler alert for you guys. Uh, it closed a month before we went. And it's still closed. Yeah. Go on Ferrari World's website. You can check their, they they post regular updates of which rides are open and closed. Formula Rosa has been closed since January. It hurt. It really hurt. But yeah. we're doing okay. Yeah, something's seriously up with it. Like, yeah. this is this is not a planned closure. No, for sure not. I hope it's not anything too serious. Yeah. Um, G3R0, I think it's like Giro. Giro donated $5 and said, hi guys. Do you ever plan on making your dream coaster in No Limits 2? It'd be so cool. Also, I read Goodrix and really liked it. Am I broken? Yes. You might be. Uh, <laughs> neither of us know how to use No Limits. I'll be completely honest with you. Yeah, um, I don't, it's not for me. Yeah, not. we I don't have time anyway if I'm being totally honest with you. But uh, on Patreon, we have Planet Coaster Challenges, and they're always fun to watch for us. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't get, like, I don't know. I don't get excited uh, doing that or, um, I don't know. It, Maybe I just haven't spent enough time doing it, but yeah, I don't know. It's yeah. just it's not for me. Uh, Ryan F donated two dollars. Said my bucket list ride is Voyage. Worth a ten hour drive. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, it is. <laughs> it yeah. really you is. You should do some other stuff along with it yeah. though to help make it even more worth it, if possible. Yeah, uh, we're trying our best to to catch up, you guys. <laughs> Sorry. Um, 
will you guys be attending any of the Top Thrill 2 preview days or opening day? Um, oh, so we, we are course. not attending Top Thrill 2 preview days. Um, we don't have the pat correct password. Yeah. But we are opening weekend, though. Uh, opening weekend, though, we're planning on it. Yeah. Yay. We are excited to go ride in Top Thrill 2. Mm -hmm. So we'll be there along with probably every other person on the planet. Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, Jonathan H. donated $5. Thank you. And said, do you all think the land where Vortex was will get a replacement coaster? When I was nine years old in 1996, I rode Adventure Express 26 times on road. Wow. Dang. That's awesome. I love that ride. Um... It, I, it should. They will get a replacement. It will. It's just when. I yeah. imagine maybe like next the, year, the, the year weird, after. The weirdest part was that Kings Island got a new roller coaster, but it was in a completely different section of the park. I think it might have been a last minute decision. I think there's a decent chance that it was uh, last minute. I also I think, think so. there's a decent chance that they were like kind of bitter that they lost the uh, Best Kids Area Award to Dollywood <laughs> at Wildwood Grove. And so they're like, crap. We need to put in another roller coaster to help. And so they're like, family boomerang. Yeah. Which is weird because Kings Island gets packed. And so I don't know how a one train coaster is going to go there. But I guess they do have Invertigo. So maybe it won't be that bad. But um, I think, I don't think Kings Island will get the Vortex replacement in 2025. But I think 2026, it, I'd be surprised if it, if it didn't happen. Yeah. Uh, Tony donated two dollars. Thank you again. You're so sweet. I'm headed back to Walt Disney World and Universal in June. Yay! Ooh, have fun. Congratulations. Uh, overrated donated five dollars and asked us to say something, but I don't trust it because there's always an ulterior motive. So I'm just gonna say hi. Hi. <laughs> um, Tony donated two dollars again. Oh my gosh, you're so sweet. Uh, thank you. Um, have you been back on Accelerator yet? No. no. I still no. haven't been on it once. I haven't ridden it since 2020. That was the last time I wrote it. I've never written it. Maybe in a past life. <laughs> Probably not. Gideon, donated $10, says, Thank been, you. Been a supporter for years, wondering what is the single best thing y'all did during Coast in the Desert? And did you guys ever get around to the Popeye's Challenge? <laughs> oh, man. So, um, first things first. The uh, Coast in the Desert, what was the best thing we did? Mm. Um, that is a really hard one. Probably like, uh, my favorite thing we did was probably the thing we did at SeaWorld where we walked on the through the aquarium. That was insane. That was freaking cool. Like best roller coaster we said flying aces. Um but best experience. I mean there was some really cool stuff. I mean going up to Burj Khalifa was pretty wild. Um oh, man, I I don't know. I just I loved all the parks. Just going to all the parks was incredible. And to answer the second part of your question, um all the money was donated plus more. Um, but we realized that we could not do feasibly the amount that, like, we ended up raising way more than we ever thought we were going to, and it was, like, insane. And a lot of it came from, like, not that Popeye's thing. It was just people just donating through other avenues. Um, so we've just been doing it over time, and we can't film on ride there anyway, uh, unfortunately. So we're like, okay, we're just going to keep riding it and whenever we can, and, you know, eventually we'll hit the correct amount. <laughs> <laughs> but we can't film it, so, uh, yeah. Yeah. At least not legally. We don't want to bring anything on ride in, for that. In retrospect, it probably would have been better to say, like, something like Infinity Falls, where SeaWorld allows GoPros. Yeah, that was a miss. That yeah. was a miss. But um, I know we're planning to do stuff with Give Kids the World in the near future, so maybe we'll switch and do something with yeah. uh, we'll, Infinity Falls. Yeah, we'll come We'll come up with a different... Um, something. So I guess we're, that was our first time doing that. So, like, we didn't really know what a good number was to guess. Like, of how, like we had no idea. So we way overdid it got overwhelmed and then didn't know what to do and just were like you know what we're just gonna do it on our own time like not yeah you know so like yeah um over time though we, we don't, don't have time to commit like two it would, i think even the math it would have been like two straight days pretty much yeah that would, <laughs> just getting in line and riding uh the we uh have ideas for a uh, future thing with give kids the world I yeah think. we have someone fantastic on our our team i guess it feels like they're on our team uh working on something it's yeah very cool so. Our um, team is, it feels like we have a team now because ever since we started Patreon, there's been a lot of people who have been like, I want to help with X, Y, Z. Like I'm going to take initiative and start something up. So it feels like there's like a whole yeah. squad. Uh, Jay uh, donated $5 says first Dota Dampa, now Formula Rosa. Don't say that. It's not close. I don't think it's, it is close, but it's not forever. It's not forever. It shouldn't be forever. That would be horrible if it, it was forever. Horrible. That would be a big blow to Ferrari world. Like if that was done for good and my heart it would be a big blow to my heart as well 
Um, David donated two dollars. Thank you. I heard you enjoy movies. Have you seen Dune too? We saw it in IMAX. We did. Heck it was yeah. awesome. It was great. It I, was. I feel like I need to see it again though because I'm like yeah. I could not follow everything. I definitely feel like I need to see it again because I feel like now that I've seen it the first time, I will be able to follow and comprehend everything that's going on uh, better the second time because like. I liked the first Dune movie, but then when I saw it the second time, I liked it even more. So yeah. I think that I would feel the same way about Dune 2. It, like, it grows on you, you know? Yeah. It's definitely complex. Um, much like Taylor Swift's new album that we were talking about <laughs> earlier. Smoke and Thrills. Are you comparing Dune 2 to Taylor Swift's Actually, new album? yes. All right. <laughs> because it is a complex story with complex like cinematography and writing and, and story and everything. The and music video is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Smoke and Thrills donate $2. It says Tokyo Space Mountain drop track hype. Photos are out. I can't believe that. This is That's literally, nuts. This is the first. Someone DM it to us on Instagram. I know, Send right? Send it I on to the Coaster's Instagram. I need to see a photo of this. Uh, Tyler donated $5 <laughs> and said, Hi, Sarah. You are so funny. I'm glad somebody thinks so. Eh. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Um, let's see. The only one laughing at me is myself, so. Overrated donate two dollars. What is your favorite RMC in California? Uh, mm. Oh, you, we skipped a whole bunch. Yeah, oh my god, I'm not going in order. Well, dang, okay, I thought we were. Um, ah, uh, that's a tough one. Uh, I've only done two of them. All right, well, which one do you like more? Probably Wonder Woman. <sighs> if Twisted Colossus were dueling, there's no questions asked. That one's better. Well, I haven't done that. I haven't but gotten that. So with it not dueling, I don't know, it just kind of annoys me. So maybe Wonder Woman. <laughs> yeah. Um, and there's a central donated two dollars. Thank you. It said mock lunches are good and vortex is fun at Carowinds. Um, wow, you're really coming in with the hot takes. Mock has some good lunches. Yeah. And they have some that are not so great. And vortex is not fun. Vortex is not great. What are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jesus loves coasters. Donated five dollars. And said, are you guys going to make the best first drafts video I recommended last time? And when do you think Penguin Trek opens for pass holders? Because I'll be there the second. I have no idea. It hasn't even sent a test run yet. Right. If you're there on the second, I'm assuming you mean the second of May. I don't think you're going to I don't lucky. think that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. I apologize for that. But um, best first drafts video. Maybe someday. It's not super high on the priority list right now, but it's someday. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's not it's a, a good bad, idea, though. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Um, Morgan, Morgan says, oh, look, a super chat button and Thanks, donated Morgan. $5. Thanks, Morgan. <laughs> and then Tony Good donated to always $2. See you. I like Tron over Guardians. Uh, Cosmo Rewind. Oh, Cosmo. Oh, duh. Um, now I'm hated. Yes, you You know who had that same opinion? My mom. My mom also liked well, Wasn't Tron. that just because she got dizzy on Guardians? Yeah, because it goes backwards and, like, turns around and stuff, so... That's a legit thing. It you know some that affects how you like it. So that's fair. Uh, and Tanner Tucker, Tanner Tucker liked. Well, Tanner Tucker's <laughs> whatever. He always thinks everything backward. It's so <laughs> weird. Uh, JB donated five dollars. Said if it were your decision, what would Carolyn's next coaster be? A wind coaster. I would do a big old GCI like Texas Stingray. And then RMC Hurler. So they yeah. can have a good wood coaster and an awesome hybrid coaster. Yeah, because right now, th here's the thing. They got rid of a wood coaster when they bulldozed Thunder Road. And uh, Hurler's now the big woody there, and it sucks. Even with the retracking, the, it doesn't change the fact that the layout is bad. And, like, the profiling, not great. So I feel like a big modern GCI would be so sick there i agree that'd be awesome uh steven bard donated two canadian dollars you didn't leave a message though um but thank you very much yeah we appreciate it feel free to leave a chat next time uh morgan donated five dollars again hello darling uh oh i get to tell you good news my birthday is on wednesday happy birthday. happy birthday that is awesome and i'm going to carowinds for the first time on friday have fun yeah that's You're a great have time such a blast that's an awesome birthday that is such a good birthday. Like, genuinely, that's a great, great birthday. Great park. And then John Joseph Gray donated $5. says, do both of you have any plans to go to Great Adventure for their 50th anniversary this year? Well, considering uh, that they have a new roller coaster that happens to be the first of its kind in the Western Hemisphere, I would say I yes. think we're going to go. <laughs> Definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Although, I have seen photos of the construction site, and it does not look very far along. It looks like there are footers in place, and that is about it. I, I believe there's track on site. But nothing is like vertical yet. So I'm going to assume that it's going to be a later this year edition. We'll see. Yeah, it, it probably will be, though. 
Uh, Jay donated five dollars and said, "Did I hear Holiday Park is getting a mock extreme spinner?" You did hear. You that. heard right. Yes, they are. They are getting a near clone of Ride to Happiness. I'm screaming. Which is wild. <laughs> yeah. I I kind of like that ride. So. Yeah. Oh, someone says Railblazers better than Wonder Woman Fly of Courage. You're right. That is my favorite RMC in I haven't in done California. that one, so. I completely forgot about Railblazer. Am I allowed to say that Railblazer would be my favorite because I've done all the clones of it? It probably will be. <sighs> but you haven't uh, written it. I know, but I'm, it will be my favorite. Yeah, okay. It will be my favorite. You're okay. totally right, because, yeah, I was saying... I, <coughs> I was thinking that the only other Ooh. one was Joker. I completely forgot about Railblazer. <laughs> You're right. Hmm. Thoughts on Dr. Pepper? Strawberries and cream. The strawberries and cream Dr. Pepper is the best. Um, I recently got a new one. It's like a uh, Dr. Pepper cream soda flavor, and it's pretty good. Um, and they're coming out with a new flavor of Dr. Pepper soon. It's like a coconut flavor, and that's coming out this summer, and that should be good. <laughs> Oof. I'm good. Um, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was... <laughs> Thank you to those simplest. Top three Cedar Point defunct Ooh. coasters. Um, well... I don't know. Hmm. I, the only one I've written is Mean Streak. I didn't, like, I didn't like Mean Streak. Oh, and Wicked Twister. Wicked Twister would probably be number one. Do um, you count, like, old dragsters defunct? Because then that would be number one. Comments below. Does that count? Um, if that's the case, then I would say I, I've done that. I've done Wicked Twister and then I, Mean Streak. I never did Disaster Transport, but that seemed like a pretty cool ride. So that would probably be on there. I see people saying Top Flow Dragster. I think it counts. Okay, all right. So Top Flow Dragster, Wicked Twister, and then I never did Disaster Transport, but I think that's that's got to be one of them. Um, uh, that's a good question. I like that. Um, JJ Mailman donated five dollars. I like that. Thank you. I got in trouble at Accelerators Media Day. I called in sick, and my supervisor had already seen me on TV. That's so funny. Wow. That's wow, so wow. great. <laughs> I'm not gonna be able to make it. <laughs> I'm sick. Oh. <laughs> That's so good. Yeah, someone says, yeah, yeah. Brian says TT2 is a new credit, so. I guess so. Then Dragster yeah. absolutely counts. All right. Morgan, you did not just donate $2 to say bless you. Thank you. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I've seen several people commenting, uh, asking about uh, Canada's Wonderland's new one. Uh, Steven even donated $5. Says, are you visiting Canada's Wonderland this year? Um, because I guess today was season pass day and it was really busy. That whole park gets slammed. They yeah. are so busy all the time. Yeah, um, I would like to go this year. Here's the thing. They are probably getting a big new roller coaster for next year. I, that um, doesn't change the fact that I want to go this year. <laughs> that's fair. Um, yeah, they, because uh, some people took some videos and like photos of the site. They are like actively working around Wonder Mountain, which... If they're putting another roller coaster around Warner Mountain, that is wildly impressive because they already have three? No, maybe four? Vortex, Thunder Run, Wonder Mountain's Guardian. Any others? No, it's, yeah, three rides in the mountain. It's giving Planet Coaster. So this would be <laughs> this would be ride coaster number four that interacts with the mountain. That is crazy. That is crazy. If that it seems like that's what's gonna happen. I'm like, unless they end up taking out a ride to make that happen, which, I mean, who knows. Um, that yeah. Morgan donated $2 and said, sure did, can you tell I got paid this week? That's oh my funny. gosh. Save it for your birthday. <laughs> Spend it at Carowinds, get some merch. Overrated, donated $5 to say, Twister, I hardly know her. I knew ah. I was gonna get you guys eventually. Oh, that's why you said liquor. Huh? I barely know her. That's so dumb. That's so dumb. We have friends who make that joke anytime anything ends with ER. Yeah. That's I, I should have said liqueur. Liqueur. Uh, liqueur. <laughs> Smoking throws donate two dollars. Says drop track photos sent on Instagram. Look them up. I want to see it. Okay, all right. <clears throat> uh, uh, have we done Skyrush New Restraints yet? No, we have uh, not. Uh, we have friends that did them, and they said that um, they didn't think it felt that different. But obviously, it's just moving the restraint from your thighs really to your waist. So um, if the ride experience doesn't feel that different, then so be it. That's what they're talking about? Yeah. Hmm. It's a piece of a drop. It could be potential. I never uh, before seen bungee lift element. Bungee lift? Oh, interesting. Wait, what? For that? Like it like shoots you up? 
I don't that's even know literally that. already on winges. I, I <laughs> Except that's Mauer, I guess. Oh, <clears throat> okay. Uh, we have one more that we missed. Brian is like a saint for helping. Oregon Coaster Enthusiast donated two dollars and said, "What is the best wood coaster on the planet? Probably the Voyage. Yeah, or El Toro. You should show the photo though, so that everyone can see what we were talking about. Oh yeah, I can share it. That's the photo. That's a. Give me this. I'm trying. <laughs> All right, can you guys see this? There it is. That's what it looks like. Apparently, that's for a drop truck. Apparently. I'm not, not an engineer, I'm but an engineer. it looks like it is not for a normal section of the ride. <laughs> did we actually catch up on, oh, no, we did not. There's one more. If there's an essential, then it $2 said, my bank ain't working, so all my donations are free. What? What? Well, crap, in that case, send higher ones. <laughs> If it ain't working. <laughs> that's hilarious. How does that even happen? I don't know how that's even possible. That's so funny. Um, if uh, Gideon donated $5, thank you, and said if y'all had infinite money to spend on a new theme park, what themed coasters and aspects would you like to see? Also, have you talked with... Oh, we're just going to skip that part. Um, I Okay, I've always said that if I could build a theme park from scratch, I would love to do one that is like full space themed like so literally celestial park no but i want it indoors and like dark mm. with like stars on the ceiling and like it's everywhere is like super dim or dark and it's like freaking awesome like everything's space themed like i don't know mm. like planets everywhere so oh, i want to so good i want to make a, a park that is is it the Taylor Swift theme park? No, but Swiftwood. Cool. We've talked about this a lot. <laughs> no, if I would make a new park, I would definitely do it based off of um, a, a, just a mash of like intellectual properties that that I like, and but it'd be like really well done. Like I think about how cool Motion Gate is, and like uh, Warner Brothers Movie World. Like I want something that is very immersive. So like. Um, uh, you know, even with lands like on the scale of like what you get with like the Wizarding World of Harry Potter and Pandora and stuff. So like I want to, I just want to compile all the best lands and immersive uh, stuff into like one big park. So, but I would also throw in stuff that we haven't seen before. Like I want a Stranger Things land because um, I think that'd be so cool. Um, That's something Bryant said. Like the uh, flying, no, the squirrel, the squirrel coaster where it goes like fully upside the down. Screaming squirrel. The screaming squirrel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Where you like. <laughs> Like go into the upside down. That'd yeah, be awesome. I don't know. I just think about like a bunch of intellectual properties that would make for like an awesome one. One one that I suggested earlier. Hear me out on this. This would be incredible. Avatar: The Last Airbender, as a land. And here's the thing: that even if you are not into the show, the idea of like bending the elements is not like only talked about in that show. Like it's like a general idea that has been used in all kinds of movies shows books folklore all of it it's yeah. like you know i feel like it would be enjoyable for anybody quite yeah. honestly i think avatar the last airbender would be so good um you kept going uh j j mailman came back and said two for two dollars said t express is better than el toro first of all thank you second of all if that's true that is very exciting yeah it makes me want to write it one day right i want to get back to avatar the last airbender like okay imagine like <laughs> Okay, so here's I'm what I'm trying thinking. to catch up. So you know how there's like that Kung Fu Panda land that um, like has, you know, the, the a lot of the Chinese influence. So like Avatar The Last Airbender also has a lot of Asian influence, but it's like with the elements. So I'm imagining like a stunt show the, with, with like the different benders. Yeah. How many cool effects you could have. It Can you shoot fire out of your hands? I don't know, but I'm imagining something like the Bourne Stuntacular, but with like that. And, and or maybe a combination between like Waterworld and the Bourne Stuntacular. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that'd be insane. A park theme to the elements would be really cool. Like, even if it was, like, not Avatar, but if it was, like, the well, idea of bending water, the elements. Water, earth, fire, air. Like, something yeah. Like that. Well, again, like, bending the elements is not exclusive to that show. Yeah. So, like, you could, in theory, do a park that is, like, you don't even have to get the IP. Yeah. It'd be cool. I'm just imagining, like, a ride where you're riding on Appa, like, flying Isn't past, like, thing? like, firebenders. No, not, like... Like a, no, like a dark ride. Like yeah. a crazy like dark ride where it's like the Spider-Man vehicle and you're dodging like all these different um, like obstacles. And then, or like a, um, I don't know, like a, a in Omashu, how you have the, the transportation system. Something like that where Who it's... Who owns that? 
Is it still? Uh, yeah, that's Nickelodeon. So just whoever licenses it, or if there was a Nickelodeon park, but they're not gonna do something like that. Universal. And then uh, <laughs> sp- there's gotta be a SpongeBob land. I'm still on this build your own theme park with all yeah. the, your favorite. It's like I want to recreate Bikini Bottom. We should just make a video talking about this, like. The coming best up, park ever. No, like coming up with like theme park lands, like theme park lands that should exist but don't. Yeah, I want a full. All right, we'll get bottom. on it, guys. I want to recreate SpongeBob's pineapple, Squidward's house, and and Patrick's rock. <laughs> Someone and just pointed out that Lost Island is literally that. Before. <laughs> <laughs> You're literally right. That's so funny. Okay, we're That's gonna, exactly right. We're gonna move on now. That nice. comment, you win. You win that tonight. That was great. Uh, enthusiast You're Central. Right. Wait, is that the one that you said to give bigger donations because his bank was yeah, like, you said, oh my god. Stop. So that ten dollar donation to your bank didn't register that. Where's the money coming from? It, it's, it's coming from the federal government. They're just like here, just give it to Coast That's It's so like funny. John did Thank you. $2. You're very kind. You don't have to do that. Thank you so much. Um, let's see. My mom chimed in with one. This is something that she's been talking about for a long time. She wants a theme park where each section is a different season. So, like, you have spring, you have summer, you have fall, and you have winter. Huh, where have I heard that before? Yeah, I know. Someone should write a book about that. <laughs> Someone should write a book about that. Um, Morgan, donate $5, says, Oops, my finger slipped. <laughs> do Girl. You think, do you think I-35 is still going to be car-themed? I don't. I think it's going to be animal-themed. I think it's going to be jungle-themed. Yeah, it's got, like, uh, doesn't have cheetah print on it? Yeah, I think it's going to be something to do with that. Um, it probably will. Uh, yeah, that would be that'd be cool. I'm loving but all the support you. for the Avatar The Last Airbender Land. Thank you. Someone from, like... Um, the show is so good, by the way. Like, the, the new show. I liked the it The old show is great, but the new show is also great. Uh, yeah, I thought it was good. Uh, we just finished it not that long ago. Yeah, it was awesome. Um, someone says an Avatar The Last Airbender show would be freaking cool. I know! Like, I, we were watching the new show, and I was like, this... Because the cinematography is, like, amazing. And, like, the the worlds are so cool. I'm like... Oh. You just know the theme parks would go nuts with the water spraying effect. Yeah. So let's spray the audience. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Every time a waterbender goes, they sprays the crowd. It's like, it's like Max Force. <laughs> it's like universal. Like, <laughs> Literally. But, like, okay, Spider-Man has, like, a fire effect. And, like, the vehicle could go like this every time an earthbender, like, makes the ground go like this. And then they blow air on you, like... A dark ride theme. Oh my god. Okay. How let's, does this not exist? Let's catch up. I know. It would be so cool. Uh, Stephen donated 10 Canadian dollars. Thank you. I visited Caribbean for the first time two weeks ago. I had a great time. A fear is awesome. Yes, it is. Um, I also did Kings Dominion on the same trip. Caribbean's is a 12 hour drive for me. Wow. Dang. Well, I'm glad you got to visit. Yeah. Yeah. No, that sounds like a really fun trip. Seriously. Um, I love that. I love it. Love it. Love it. Pokemon Land. That's an interesting one. Not multiple people telling us that Lost Island is an open park. Oh, my gosh. That's so funny. Uh, John Landry donated $2 and said, where do you think Epic Universe will rank? One of the best in the world. I think so, too. Yep. Definitely. Absolutely. I it really looks, do. It really looks like it. Glove World. <laughs> glove World. They, like, lightly have Glove World theming at, um, where was that? Park Park A Day Attraction. Oh, Park A Day Attraction. Yeah, they kind of do. Yeah, they had, yeah. Glove, they had a little bit of, it they was very sec- light. They had a Glove World section. Yeah, it wasn't bad. Yeah. Uh, uh, Millsy. Uh, That's Harrison. Yeah, eight Australian dollars says petition for RMC Hyper in Australia. You know, that would be awesome, but. I don't know if it's. I don't, I don't know that, like, Australia would play well with RMC because they're, like, really, really strict and RMC is, like, really, really chill. <laughs> and they'd be like, it's okay, man. And they're like, no, it's not. And like, we're from Idaho, man. Like, this is. <laughs> no, it's not okay. Australia. <laughs> it would be like this. Australia, for those that don't know, is, like, one of the strictest places in the world when it comes to, um, like, building codes and, like, um, just making, uh, like, build anything, building anything in that country. So uh, mm-hmm. that's why whenever there's a new attraction, it is always something that uh, takes longer and, uh, you know, is very meticulously done. Leviathan was not only delayed because of COVID, but also just a lot of, a lot of aspects with that. Um, It'd be a great topic for a video that we should definitely post soon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alex donated $5 and said, add 60 feet to Project 305 and rename it to Coaster 365. Who says no? Nobody says no. I'll give that a thumbs up. I'm giving, like, <laughs> that is a thumbs up from me. Yes. <laughs> That's great. Cassie K donated $5. Do you think Disney would ever build a Vacoma flyer? Pay for Pandora at Disneyland. Uh, Disneyland. Yeah. 
Also, also come to Day Disney's Animal Kingdom uh, more. You I work, work at Dinosaur? We go there for now. No, we don't. We never go there. Okay, I was <laughs> just there with my mom not that long ago. Really? I'm, yeah. I don't even I haven't even been there this year yet. Okay, I've gone. I want to. And we rode to. Dinosaur and it was really fun. I want to go there again. Um I have been saying how awesome like something like Fly would be in Pandora, but it'll never happen. Yeah. It's too high thrill it, for Disney. It, yes. From what we're hearing, the new Pandora at um uh Disney's California Adventure is probably where it's gonna go will be a high-tech boat ride kind of like pirates at shanghai disney which i don't want to know anything about so don't say it don't say it i don't okay i'm not the person Mo to talk to about moving that moving on <laughs> uh emerald donated two great british pounds and said what do you think of hyperia testing uh, very exciting yeah yeah it's great yeah i mean i don't know Every roller coaster goes through that phase. <laughs> yeah, but it's exciting. It is exciting. We have a friend who was really hoping it'd be open in time because he's in London right now. And he's is he there right now? Yeah, he is. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen anything on social media about it. If it's I not have. on social media, it didn't happen. I have. What? Yeah. All right, then maybe I'm just not paying attention. Okay, apparently, he's not looking. <laughs> and this is essential donated five dollars. Said, "Yeah, I'm going bankrupt, and when this catches up anyway." <laughs> Oh my god. Which is better, Daddy Pig or Nitro? Because Daddy Pig is better in my Definitely life. Daddy Pig. It's okay, now you're yeah. just now oh, yeah. you're poking the bear. Man, they know what's up. Yeah. Ethan Donny $5 says <laughs> Thank Holiday you. World should have a family launched coaster themed to Santa Sleigh and Reindeer. You have no We've idea. We've been seeing this for so long. This is something that Why? we've always been talking Why about. Why is it not a thing? Like literally could do even like a you could do like a straddle coaster. And it's like they all look like freaking reindeer. That it's awesome. Is it rates itself. A uh, new coaster for the Christmas section. Also, it, you guys are very active tonight. It I just needs realized, to happen. We've been on for almost 90 minutes now, and there's no sign of this slowing down. We've had, like, the same amount of people here the whole time. I know. It's nice. Did we, did we just, is Sunday, like, just a good yeah. time for Someone people? Someone said Canada's Wonderland had a power outage today during Pass Lord Preview Day. Ooh, that's that not good. Sense. Man, that's not fun. Um, Scott Wallace donated five dollars. Says Charlotte says good night, everybody. Good night, Charlotte and Scott. We love them. They were on the cruise with us. And then Josh donated five Australian dollars. Says, is there a roller coaster element that doesn't exist, but you wish it did? Oh. So I've had this idea for something. I don't know if it's possible, but uh, I want to see. I think I've mentioned this on a live stream before. I had this idea when I was like a kid, is that you have um, like a vertical lift hill on like a fourth dimension coaster. So kind of like what the 4D Freespin does, but it's like the vehicles like uh, like X2 or Edge and Ica. And then it starts, so you're now at the top and then you go through what is essentially a pretzel loop. So like imagine vertical lift up and then you drop all the way down, that's your main drop and then you rise up into it. So imagine- The pretzel a, loop is a, a drop, basically. Yeah, so like the pretzel loop is your first element on like a fourth dimension coaster. I think they would rip your face off. Is that? I mean, maybe Can you not. imagine like at the highest speed of the ride going through a pretzel loop? That would rub your face I off. I don't know. It sounds like fun though. Someone says RMC vertical loop. I really don't think that that would be that great. I don't know. Yeah. I think vertical loops are one of the more overrated elements on a roller coaster. Like everyone likes They're them because cool they, look, they look cool, right? But like, I don't know. I just feel like vertical loops for the most part aren't that <laughs> Your mom said I would throw... Yeah. You have been so good. Why are you choosing now to say <laughs> stuff? What? What? Anyways. <laughs> uh, Demetrius Adventures donated $5. Says, any updates on the new ride at Busch Gardens Williamsburg? Um, we haven't been there to check it out, but... I think there's track at, like, uh, so, somewhere in Ohio. Someone posted pictures of, of track that was, like, red um, at, Cle him. at Claremont Steel Fabricators in Ohio. And so if that is the track for Busch Gardens Williamsburg, then they're working on it. But I haven't seen anything about like ground clearing um, on the site, but it is also in a site where you pretty much could only see it if you are riding the train. So I don't know. I feel like if there was something, we probably would have seen it show up on social media by now. So I don't know, not this Here again. He is. No, he's the not. Of the hour. He's not sitting up on the table again. Yes, he is. GM donated two dollars. Says just went to Magic Mountain, rode Viper for the first time. My head hurt. Sounds about right. Uh, Jewish singers donated five dollars. Says Hershey should get a family launch coaster or a surf coaster themed to surfing instead of you know, where you're surfing through chocolate um, that splashes in the water and it's Chocolate Town 2025. Um, yeah, so. Hey buddy, could you lay down? So. There you go. Wow, good job. I think a family launch coaster at Hershey Park is a great idea because 
Right now, their only launch coaster is Storm Runner, so I think something else would be uh, really, really good. <laughs> Everyone's excited to see him, all right? Let him have his moment. Uh, Let him have his moment. All right, he can lay down, but he has to stay he like stay this. down. He's staying down. He's being good. Tilt camera down. No. Yes. There he is. Anyways. All right, Rufus um, has got control of things. Let's see. Um, <laughs> stale fish. Do, I'm no. We're. Ugh. This is terrible. <laughs> no, it's not. It's great. Is this better? What is this phone? Do we need it? No, we're okay. Can we put the dog down? He's so happy though. No, he's not. He wants to get down. No, he doesn't. Yes, he does. Does he want to get down? He wants to get down. Okay, bye, Rufus. All right. Well, it's been fun. What's buddy. up, dog butt? Anyways. <laughs> Okay, bye, Rufus. Jeez, Louise. <laughs> um, it's like, no. Um, okay. Anyways, um, are you going to France to ride Mahuka? No, probably, probably not. not. The, probably not this year. No. No, because we, we, we were just, just there. there. It's we kind were... of an obscure location. For... Like, okay. Like, I know we were just at, like, Thorpe Park, but, like, Hyperia is, like, in London, and that's, like, pretty easily accessible, all things considered, versus... Uh, Mahuka's in southern France. It's a little bit more obscure. So um, I feel like that is one that will happen eventually, but probably not soon. Kind of crazy how Rufus let his pet humans be on the channel. <laughs> um, Matt B donated $10. Says, great job on the Dubai series. Thank you so much. Uh, Jacob donated $5. Uh, wait, do we already do that one? No, I think we already did that one. Um, Did you get that one? No, not this one. Stalefish, $25. Going on the first coaster road trip in early August to Great Adventure, Hershey Park, Cedar Point, King's Island, Holiday World, and Kentucky Kingdom. Uh, any tips for a first-timer? First of all, that's a great trip. Plan in, I think I said this earlier, but plan in a buffer day just in case something happens or something is closed that you really want to ride. Um, or if you have any kind of issues along the way, like just have an extra day. Yeah, and then you could like potentially use it to go back somewhere also if you like had extra time. Um, yeah, um, that's tough to give tips because that's a lot. There's a lot in there and like they're all really good. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is check and see if Hershey Park is doing the um, early entry the night before you go to Hershey Park. Because if you buy a one day ticket, they'll typically let you in for like the last two hours the night before. Um, check to see if that's still a thing because they call it like a park preview. And that's pretty cool. So That is pretty cool. Uh, Enthusiast Central, donated $5, says, I put my seven-year-old on Le Sister on Mountain's Monster. What? I put my seven-year-old sister on Mountain Monster. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, okay. H how did that go? <laughs> wow, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's, yeah. I'll be right back. Uh, first ride you're running to at Epic Universe. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I just know it's probably not going to be Mario Kart. Because that, I, like, I've already done that ride. I've already done that land. So I'll probably save that for last and go for, like, monsters. Monsters I'm super curious about. I really want to see it. I'm sorry. We are trying so hard to catch up. There's a lot of people chiming in. Oh, my gosh. Okay. <clears throat> Sam donated $5 and didn't leave a message. Totally could have. Um, but thank you very, no. very much. What? He's trying to hump my leg. No, he's not. Yes, he is. He doesn't do that. Yes, he is. He was just trying to do that. He just did? Aw, Rufus. No, that's not something to <laughs> awe Rufus about. That's it very bad. Um, Morgan donated you dollars said, you're the emotional support human for Rufus. You're damn right. He was meant to be my emotional support dog, and it has definitely been the other way around. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> Vertilite donated $2 said, what do you think of a B&M Giga replacing American Eagle in 2026? I mean, it's not going to happen. That's never going to happen. <laughs> That's a fun idea. <laughs> um, oh, Sam donated $5. There we go. Now you left a message. Hello. I am scared of roller coasters, but really want to ride them. Do you have any recommendations on how to overcome the fear? Your video is silly, by the way. Thank mm. you. Ease into it, I guess. Yeah. Like, think, identify what, like, startles you. Is it height? Is it speed? And, like, target that specific thing and work your way up to it. So, like, if speed is the problem, but you don't mind the height, then, like, do rides that are taller, but maybe don't go as fast. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. uh, you know, stay away from maybe launch coasters. What are you laughing at? 
He's licking my feet. Oh, is he? Yeah. Are you licking Taylor's feet? I told you, he's, he's being <laughs> really weird right now. Even, even if he's not on screen, he's always there. <laughs> he's always here. Anyways, Universal Games Journey $2 says, Falcon's flight is about to top off at 600 foot hill. Um, I think you're referring to the top hat. That is, I believe, the 500 foot hill. The 600 foot hill, I'm pretty sure, is from the top of the cliff. Um, but yeah, it's insane. Okay. It's totally insane. Bryant sent more that I think we missed. Uh, Steven donated five Canadian dollars. Said after the, the, the afterburn is an awesome invert. Nighthawk is not that bad. Vortex is okay at best. Ricochet is surprisingly good. Afterburn is awesome. Mm -hmm. Nighthawk is bad. Uh, Vortex yep. is not good. Uh, and Ricochet, which one's that? The Wild Mouse. Oh, I haven't ridden that one. But I believe you. Um, I'm glad you had fun. Uh, Jonathan donated two dollars. Said I rode Flight of Fear with over the head restraints. Ouch. Oh gosh, you did it during that time frame. Oh, that would be horrible. Oh god, I am so sorry. Yeah, that's. I can't believe that it had that. That just sounds so bad. Um. Yeah, that does not sound so good. So Rufus donated two dollars. Rufus is just excited for Top Thrill Two. I love that you donated ten dollars just to say that. I don't think that's what he means, but okay. Yeah. No, All it these is. these gummies are number one. They're, they're so good. Um, <laughs> Thank you. Uh, Fusion Games 05 donated $5. With Six Flags and Cedar Fair merging, do you think the lower end parks in each chain will get the love and new rides in the future? Um, No. I don't, unfortunately. I wish that was the case. <laughs> I don't think that the new merger is going to benefit the parks as much as they think. Like, <laughs> I think that there's a chance that it could help make some of the parks nicer, like maybe help with like infrastructure stuff. But in terms of like new roller coaster investment, I don't know. That's, there's a lot more parks that they then have to divvy up the new attractions to, you know? So it's like, you think about like Cedar Fair had like what, 11 parks to choose from. So now this one, one big company is gonna have like so many on their plate. So. I'm gonna see if he'll sit on my lap. He's not gonna do that. Yay. Enthusiast Central, $72. I gotta go, so goodbye. See you next live stream. Thank Bye. you. Bye, thank you. <laughs> Rufus thinks there's somebody at the door. There's not, it's okay. Here's a great question. What do you think Magic Mountain is getting for 2025? Because they're building something. No, <laughs> no, we're not. Yay! You plopped yourself down, you're so good. Uh, I would love to see an Axis. Or uh, maybe, I don't know. I want them to get like a better intermediate family co coaster. Can we move the dog? He's happy. No, he can move. No, you can move. No, I literally cannot. There you go. <laughs> there you go. You can still talk. No. Good We're boy. Not there we go. <clears throat> Anyway, Shh. Um, I think that a really good intermediate family coaster would also be pretty good. But anyways, <laughs> we'll see what happens. No, don't hey. go away now. Just take him down. No, I'm letting him go. Go ahead, buddy. Go ahead. <laughs> this is always so chaotic. It is always. <laughs> My fluffy, glorious king. He's the best. Okay. Catching up on everything that I've missed. Or did I get, did we get them all? Are we caught up? I think so. Oh. Uh, G2Dom donated 10 British pounds. Thank you very much. Hope you're both having a great night. In three months, it's mine and my girlfriend's one year anniversary. Nice. Yay! I'm surprising her with a five day trip to Germany. She has no Ooh. idea. Fantasia Land for one day and Europa for two. Mm, okay. That's exciting. That is very, very exciting. That's very, wow, the dog lip licked off all my lipstick. Um. Yeah, nice. I think that's going to be a really good time. Um, You're going to have an amazing time. Fantasia Land, you should stay on site if you can. Um, you will definitely not regret it. If you're only going for one day, that park is small, but there's a lot to do there. So I would say um, it could be worth investing in Skip the Lines there. Um, it depends on when you're going because that park can get very busy. Um, especially for like... Some rides just get longer lines than others, but um, 
I think regardless, you're going to have a fantastic time because those are Ger uh, just Germany's a, a great place to visit for theme park enthusiasts as well as uh, people looking to check out some uh, great uh, cultural sites. Here, someone asked earlier about the uh, uh, new ride for Williamsburg. So here's some picture of the track. At least we assume that's for Williamsburg. There you go. It's pretty cool, right? Um, Thank you, Allison. And Stephen donated five Canadian dollars. Says I think Kings Dominion is overrated. I've been to that park a few times and it has great rides, but they have bad operations. <gasps> Wait, really? Um, I think it depends on when you went, because operations there vary. I feel like they have moments where they're not amazing, but I've also seen plenty of times where the operations are just fine. So uh, that changes year per year. Wait, know. I thought we commented on this. Everyone's saying we missed CJTV's uh, $10 Rufus donation. Is just Thank you. For Top too. No, I did, we did that one. Rufus is very excited for Top Thrill 2. Actually, it was really funny riding Iron Menace because I was like, my dog has been on this track. My dog has been on this track before I have been on this track. So he got the credit before I did. Something like that. Yeah. yeah. And they, you know, they have a lower height requirement, so he's he's getting close. G2 down doing a five grade British pound set. I'll be looking to skip the lines. It'll be in July, so I can imagine it'll be busy. Either way, first time for both of us. That's so yeah, fun. Yeah, super cool. You guys are going to have such an amazing time. Yeah, and then Dimitri says, thanks for the update on Bush Console Inspired. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Thank definitely. Allison and uh, uh, Mike. They're the ones who got the picture. Yeah. Yeah, that's super cool. Um, Someone asked if Rufus peed on the track. That is a legitimate question. I don't think so, no. No, but I was kind of hoping he would. But he didn't. Morgan he didn't sent have to. you a gift in Instagram DMs. Oh, no. I'm um, a look. Yeah, that was a... It was fun when we visited the construction site for Iron Menace. Uh, we did a video about it, and it, it turned out pretty cool. But what you guys don't know is it was absolutely freezing out when we went. And so we were, like, kind of, like, dying because we were, like, all bundled up in, like, a million layers. That was easily the coldest day we had all winter. Um no matter where we were. It was like, it was so bad. And we're just like a dorney, like freezing our butts off. Um, I don't know how the construction crews built that ride in <laughs> that weather. It was insane. She sent this photo of you looking all PO'd with the dog. That's really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, anyways, that's, for those who are ever like, Dorney should do a winter fest. Not no. gonna happen, probably not. No. <laughs> Um, Steven donated five dollars. Said, "What is your biggest guilty pleasure coaster? Mine is Dragonfire at Canada. Guilty Island. pleasure coaster? Probably the chicken coaster or something stupid like that. <laughs> That's fair. I'm trying to think. Like, um, I don't know. Like, I'm thinking of like rides that are not necessarily meant for my demographic, but I chicken love coaster. Thing. That was that's that's like an anybody coaster. I feel I don't know. Fine, humble brummel. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. any of the Disney coasters. Like I feel like as an enthusiast, people are like, oh, you, like Disney coasters are kind of, but I love them, and I I'm actually not guilty about it. So maybe not. I don't know. I have to think about it. Kai donated to and said, uh, "Howdy, y'all. Miss you and can't wait for Hollywood Nights." Oh yay! Kai, I miss you too. We'll see you at Hollywood Nights. Yay! That's awesome. Jack Silkstone commented, when are you guys <laughs> coming to the ride Hyperia? We're not going to say that here, but you can but Jack, message us and we'll talk about Jack, it. Jack, <laughs> we'll talk. We will talk. We will talk. Because we've been enjoying the updates and Hyperia looks fantastic and it's uh, it's on the radar. Yes. Yeah, we are we are very aware But of there it. are 400 <laughs> people in here right now. And so we will talk to you that yes, one Yes, another day. <laughs> Um, Brian goes, you guys are caught up. And then, Immediately another one comes through. <laughs> GM donated $5. Thank you so much. Uh, any thoughts on the new ride teased by Lost Island? Um, confusion, because it was, like, not much of a teaser. It was, like, a, I don't know, it was kind of a teaser. But, like, we haven't seen anything. And it wasn't, like, I don't know. I don't know what they were teasing. Because they're not doing anything for this year. So it seems, it's just kind of weird that they would, like, tease something. And then, like, that was, it was, like, a one-time thing, you know? Um, so, I don't know. Maybe it means for 2025 or something. Um, but I, f I think it's a little strange that they are already planning a new attraction when, like, their attendance has been, like, a little rough right now. Um, so I, like, I don't know. I just worry about that park. Because it's so cool, but it needs, it needs more people there. It needs more people. I'm sorry. I'm so distracted. You're very distracted. There's right a now. murder scene going on in front of me. Like, 
You can't just say that. Uh, well, the dog is, well, you know what, here. Oh my gosh, no. Hold on, how do I? Oh my gosh. There he is, he's destroyed Piglet. Rufus, wanna show everyone what you've done? To Piglet? Yeah, that was all your hard work, wasn't it, buddy? Okay, now you guys, know. yep, there he is. Okay, yep, and there's Tigger who is missing an arm. Nope, stop. Okay, well now you all know. <clears throat> this is hard. I am sorry, <laughs> she's not allowed to do anything now. Sorry. You're you're fired. You're done. <laughs> Go fix your dog or something. I know, he's Everyone says rip, that was her fault. No, they said rip piglet. No, I think they were ripping the stream. No. They're they're saying rip R I P Piglet. Rare murder scene caught on camera. <sighs> Stop him! He's gonna destroy the toy completely. Oh my god. Ripped to both. We are so crooked right now. I know. You're, I'm so sorry. You're fired. <laughs> anyway. <sighs> Tee -hee -hee. Um, Theme Park Magic donated two dollars, but they retracted their message. Guess it wasn't that important. But thank you very much. Feel free much. to send another one. <laughs> I'm sure it's very important, but I don't know why you would do that. Um, Steven donated two Canadian dollars. Canada's Wonderland did have a power outage today. That's I crazy. Love That's so wild. Yeah. Yeah, totally insane. St stop focusing I on can't! what's going on behind the camera. <laughs> what's the biggest serve sleigh diva? Yes, coaster. Yes. What does Ooh. that mean? Like, what coaster is, like, the biggest, like, like, it's that girl. What? You know, like. What does that mean? I know what you mean. I, I can't answer that question. I literally don't understand. I speak what, your language. What you're asking? Um, what is the biggest? Yes. Um. Uh, that's a tough one. I guess the rainbow corkscrew, right? <laughs> it's giving. It's giving. I would say that, or like DC Rivals with like it's like pink moment that it's got going on. Oh my god! Is this way? Tracia one one uh, one four four donating two dollars says Hollywood Nights sells out in minutes. How to go? Ugh. Luck. Uh, yeah. We went through the same thing. I, <laughs> we got yeah. lucky, but we had to go through the same process as everyone else, and it's, it was a, a bit of a bloodbath. Yeah. Yeah. Um, with Top Thrill Dragster and Dota Dampa gone, what is your new favorite launch? That's actually a great question. I have no idea. <laughs> uh, I have no clue. Maybe... I, I still have the launch on Ka. Ka's is still good. Probably um, that. Red Forces is pretty awesome. Oh, yeah. That's a great launch. Um, that is a good one. Someone yeah, said Mask I'm, I'm going to go with Red Force, maybe. Yeah, I feel like that's a safe bet. Um, I also, I like Fluke Fountain Novgorod's at Hansa Park. That's a great one. Oh, people say Broken Mako. Broken Rainbow Cork too. Marty? <laughs> people said Mako, like Mako gives. It does. What does Mako give? It just gives. I don't know what that means. Because you're not, you're not the target demographic for that question, Taylor. It gives. I get it. I'm just here, man. I'm just living. Anyway. It, see, it can't see. You guys get it. Uh, International Thrills, hello. Donated $2 and said, going to the UK. Have any tips for a week-long trip? Yes, I mentioned this earlier in the stream, but um, do your traveling in the evening because all the parks close early. So get to each of the parks when they open because the hours are limited. You want as much time as you can get because um, they're their hours suck. They're some of the worst <laughs> Yeah, out there. they really do. So plan lots of fun evening activities if you're going to be in the same area. Like going Do to some parks. sightseeing. Yeah. Like if you're going to London, like see London. It's awesome. awesome. And yeah, there's a lot of really cool stuff around there. Like um, if you go to Flamingoland, uh, the town of York is like right kind of near the park. And it's that's a really cool place too. Um, I'm just, this is so crooked. It's, it's your fault. You just... <laughs> Taking a picture of the murder scene. Mom, move your foot. Another person asked if we rode Formula Rosa. Uh, Formula Rosa has been closed since January and it's still closed. So unfortunately we went during that time period when it was not operating and um, so we missed it. Yeah, it hurt, it but did. that's okay because we rode Flying Aces and it was incredible. It made up for it. Also Mission Ferrari. Um, we posted our video of Mission Ferrari and you guys all loved that. That video did really, really well. It really, really did. Well. Thanks like, that, that was our 
top video when it came out, and it's almost at, yeah, it's at fifty five thousand views right now. That's hey. that's awesome. That's like I haven't even looked in a few days. Yeah, that's our best performing video in a little bit. So like yeah, there you that's, go. That's so great. everyone knows what's going on back there. There it is. Piglet is dead. Rufus is proud. Here's what I will say about Mission Ferrari because I'm just gonna completely ignore what is currently going on. I can't. Um, so I feel like Mission Ferrari is. It might be the most elusive roller coaster currently operating, like right now. Because, you know, um, Lightning Rod was that for a long time. Uh, Dragster was like that for a long time, you know. And Mission Ferrari is a very tough one to get on because it is closed seemingly more than it is open. Because it is overly complicated. It's very complicated. <laughs> so I am very glad that we got on that because I feel like a lot of people who go to Ferrari World miss it. And so um, I feel like once Formula Rosa opens, it'll be consistent when it's open. And I don't know if that will be the same for Mission Ferrari. So um, I wouldn't trade Mission Ferrari for Formula Rosa. I if agree. that makes sense. I'm really glad that I got a Mission Ferrari. He's gonna start. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. Um, yeah, Allison says Steel Curtain was like that for another people. Yeah, that's why. Uh, Morgan just donated $2 for the yeah. same thing. Steel Curtain is also elusive. Yeah, we talked about this earlier in the stream, but my thoughts on it is that I think that it is a really, it's, it's a good thing that Kennywood is doing this because uh, their hope is that for longevity purposes, this will make it so it will actually be open every single day. It will open on time every single day. And whatever issues they've been dealing with for several years, uh, will stop because I imagine that it's costing the park more money than it should um, Clearly whatever they're dealing with is a big issue and that's why they're having to close it for a whole year Like you don't just close it for a year for, for something. no reason. Yeah, like, small it, it hurts parks to have a big attraction like that closed, you know, pe the guests don't like it. So um, I am optimistic about it and um, You know, we'll see how it goes um Tra is it trachea? Trachea. Tra 144 Tra donated five dollars. Thank you. And said so first time we're visiting Orlando. Yay, that's so exciting. Uh would you recommend doing Bush Gardens as a day trip? Would that be too much? No. No, we just go really go early in the morning to beat the traffic, but And then come back at night and you'll yeah, miss it. No, you'll be you'll fine. miss all the traffic. From Orlando, it's like if you if you aren't stuck in disgusting traffic, you can get there in about an hour and fifteen minutes. Yeah. You should absolutely go. Um Bob Ch Bob Chapek commented. <laughs> It's, there's no way it's actually Bob Chapek. Your favorite extinct <laughs> Disney attraction. Can you imagine? Bob Chapek is in the house. Woo! Yeah. Boo! Um, <laughs> oh, he's fine now. <laughs> oh my god, what is People just didn't like him when he was CEO, but I'm yeah, sure that they I'm don't sure care about fine. him when he's not CEO. Um, favorite extinct Disney attraction. Not Primeval World. Um, that's nobody's. I don't know. I haven't written very many extinct Disney attractions. I don't even know what I would say. I know there's so many of them. I'd have to think about that one. But um, you say there's so many, but I don't know. I feel like there's not really that many extinct Disney attractions. Oh yeah. No, there's been a lot that have come and gone. I feel like you're gonna say like, um, what's Alien Encounter? That would be cool to go rewrite again. Um, hmm. I miss. It's not necessarily a ride, but I miss Toontown Fair. And the great movie ride. Great movie ride? Of the but one, Toontown Fair was awesome and I miss it. Of the ones that I experienced, I would say great movie ride was the best, but I wouldn't trade it for Mickey's Runaway Railway. I would absolutely keep what we have now. Um, but of the ones that I, like if we're just doing any ride that I didn't experience, I'd probably say Alien Encounter because that sounds really cool. I think that um, they could have literally taking the Star Wars launch bay area, turn that into like a Mickey and Minnie like cartoon area, like the whole land. Like at Disneyland. With yeah, the but well that's Toontown. Yeah. But like, and then make that, uh, put that ride there and then keep the great movie ride. I think they could have had both, but. Yeah. It's all right. Um, Schmo donated five Canadian dollars, thank you. I'm visiting Pennsylvania for the first time this year. Yay, can you recommend some parks? Uh, Hershey. Yep, yeah, Hershey Park is probably the one that you gotta do. And probably Knoble. Can, and you, Dorney. Why? Why, Sarah? Why should you recommend Knobles? I don't know. It just seems cool. It you bring a dog. Cool. So, so you visit Knobles all the time then, that you would recommend it, as someone who frequents Pennsylvania a lot. <laughs> 
Leave me alone. Tell, tell Sarah about how you grew up going to Pennsylvania pretty much uh, all the time. I know. And, Somehow Knobles evaded me. And you never me. visited Knobles. I don't know. Blame my mom. Mom, it's your fault. You should go to Dorney. They just opened okay. up a B&M dive coaster. I did Dorney when I was... I did all the other ones. It was just Knobles. It's just kind of out there. I would say wait. Well, you could still go and do uh, Kennywood. Kennywood... Last time we visited was actually in pretty great shape. Like, they did a lot of repainting and everything just looked fresh. So, like, obviously it's too bad that Steel Curtain is closed this year. But, like, if you don't think you're going to be back there for a while, then I think you should still go to Kennywood. Like, only skip Kennywood if, like, you're tight on time, you really have to prioritize, yeah. and you think that there's a chance that you'll be back in that area soon. Underrated you know? is uh, Waldemere that has Ravine Flyer, too. That's a great ride. Waldemere's cool. Yeah, that's like a half-day place. You really yes. don't need much time there. Uh, Cassie K donated $5, said, unpopular opinion. Busch Gardens Tampa is one of the worst laid-out parks I've been to. It is infuriating to walk you around. You know, I don't hate that take. It's not a terrible take. It's a great park, but it is kind of in a weird I, setup. Yeah. It's infuriating when you want to go ride Shikra and you're over by, like, Montu. <laughs> That's true. That's obnoxious. It's very weird. Um, but yeah, that's that's a fair take. Uh, actually, AJ donated two dollars. Thank you. And said, "What next thrill coaster do you think BGW will get?" An RMC. An RMC. Hopefully, uh, uh, that was the plan. I it want seemed an Iron Gwazi. They're so bad. They deserve it. Yeah, it uh, se it seems like that was what was happening, and now it doesn't. Uh, see, they're doing B and M family invert. It's what the track is for, which is just too bad. Like I'm fine with the B and M family invert at Busch Gardens. But not where that plot of land is. That plot of land is back there. prime real estate for a huge, big, like awesome ride, and a family coaster is not. That ain't it for no. there. Put it. Put that in. Put that in Ireland. Literally, Ireland, you could fit a family coaster just fine. That's true. Uh, Stephen Barr donated twenty Canadian dollars. Thank you very, very much. I want to give both of you a warning if you're driving to Canada's Wonderland. Do not use your cell phone while driving in Ontario without using a hands-free device. It's an automatic three-day license suspension if caught. It can also be a $3,000 fine. Wow. Well, neither of us are, like, phones while driving people. So yeah. no worries there, but CarPlay. appreciate it. CarPlay is awesome. Yeah. yeah. I love CarPlay. Um, let's see. Um, hmm. What else we got? Now we can actually, we can look at some of the other questions for a second here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone said over Georgia or St. Louis. Definitely over Georgia. Um, St. Louis is kind of mediocre. Oh. Man, there are like so many comments. I'm like, I don't even know. Um, Knobles is kind of out of the way. Even Marty says Knobles is cool. The Australian. No, the New Zealand. Sorry. Sorry, Marty. The New Zealander has been there. Way to insult And you him. haven't. Um, yeah, that's your takeaway. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, wait. Oh, this person was asked a bunch of times, what's your favorite song on Tortured Poets Department? You first. Um, probably... I like Who's Afraid of Little Old Me. I like I Can Do It With a Broken Heart. And I like The Smallest Man Who Ever Lived. I, I Can Do It With a Broken Heart is the best. Followed by um, Who's Afraid of Little Old Me. And then I like My Boy Only Breaks His Favorite Toys. Yeah, those are all great songs. Those three are very good. Um... Uh, oh, here you go. Uh, Craig Decker. Hey, what's up? Uh, thank you so much. Donated five dollars. I said last year got Superman Escape, but missed out on DC Rivals. Uh, Ouch. Uh, man. That hurts. That hurts. Uh, given the trouble with intimate accelerators, I was okay with the trade off. I guess. Um, but dang, I yeah, hope we get to go back. I think mm, mm, I would be upset. DC Rivals was the ride that made us want to visit Australia. So, like, that was more than any other ride. I was like, this cannot be closed. No. That could not be closed. So, I was obviously sad that we didn't get on Superman. But we'll be back. Oh, yeah. We'll absolutely be back. So, like, it's not the end of the world. In but... theory, by the time we get back to Australia, they will have Superman open, Scooby-Doo up from Refurb, and the whole um, Wizard of Oz area open, which technically includes three roller coasters, and they'll have the new Flash coaster open, which is in inside of Superman. So that would be one, two, three, four, five, six new roller coasters for us to ride at Movie World. We rode three. So that's crazy. That's wild. That yeah, park is gonna feel so different next time we go. Because there will be a next time. There will. Oh, man, this one's sad. 
Weird question, but how was Tom and Jerry's Swiss cheese spin at um, Warner Brothers? Uh, you will see when we go to show you the Warner Brothers video, we actually missed out on that one. That was the only thing we didn't get to do. Yeah, we it tried to go back hour, and ride it, but... an hour line. Yeah. It, that, the thing is, we end up using up more time at the parks uh, than probably the average person because we're filming everything. So think of, like, all the time it takes to ride it, plus then whip your camera out and get a bunch of footage of it. So, like... We ended up having to sacrifice that one so yeah. we could get all the we, we needed. But the thing was, we were also doing rides that we knew weren't going to have a long wait. So, like, we walked on to almost every ride at Warner Bros. Movie World except for uh, the outdoor outdoor roller coaster. Yeah. Um, Fast and Furious. That one we waited, like, 45 minutes Fast for. Fast and Furious. Fast and Furious. <laughs> uh, and that was pretty much the only line that we did. But everything else was, like... Like, it still took us so much time. We got rewrites on a couple things, but it was because, like, we pretty much had the choice of, like, okay, you can rewrite multiple rides that you really liked, or you can spend the rest of your time in the park in line for this one roller coaster. And so yeah. we chose to rewrite multiple attractions. Um, That's just I don't strategy. I don't regret that decision, but... I do wish that we had more time at that park. Even I if do. they were open an extra hour, that really would have helped us. Um, there was a thing. I just missed it somewhere. Oh, there we go. Monkey Ball 3D. I like that. Donated it. Uh, three Canadian dollars. Thank you. Any thoughts on what Canada's Wonderland could be getting in 2025? Clearly something involving the mountain. I have no idea what it is, though. I think... They've been keeping it under wraps quite They well. should be adding a high thrill launch coaster, because... Their only launch coaster is technically backlot. I guess Snoopy's Racing Railway does. But like an like, adult. Yeah. Like, high thrill. I think they need a high thrill launch coaster. Um, I would ideally like it to be by someone other than B&M because their three big coasters right now are all B&Ms. So I feel like you need something to do, uh, like, keep it different. So, like, I, if I were in charge, I would probably do. Something by Intamin or, or Vacoma, maybe. Um, I feel like that'd be really, really cool there. Um, I like this question. Allison donated $2. Thank you. Um, wait, Allison, so is that our Allison? Yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> hey, Allison. Thank you. Uh, what has been your favorite coaster to film? Hmm, not Taryn. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like... All right, well, some coasters are less accessible than others. Like, uh, hmm. I, it's, it, the, our favorite rides to film are the ones that have a lot of vantage points. So the rides that you can only see it from one specific location are our least favorite to film. So I will say one of my favorite uh, times filming a ride was shortly after we got the new cameras, so we were breaking them in and we were getting used to them, um, was when, and it's actually not one that had a ton of vantage points normally, but we went on a backstage tour, was Time Traveler. Mm. Filming that ride when we were back in the woods with the fall foliage was so Fun. That was very, very It was cool. so fun. But, like, normally I prefer, you know, coasters that you can walk all around. And there's a lot yeah. of cool angles and stuff. But Yeah. It's it's annoying when, like, the best views for a roller coaster are the ones that you can't get to. So, like, when we were filming Time Traveler, we were like, these views are incredible. No one ever will see them. No one will ever see them. Unless Except you, unless you watch our footage. Unless you watch the footage. <laughs> but, like, but, like, you can't get there. We had to hike through the woods. Another there's ride that was... Art really annoying to film was Outlaw Run, also at Silverado City, because I was, like, hiking through the woods to film this thing. This was back when it was for This Is How We Roll. And just because of the terrain, I'm literally, like, like some of these hills are very steep angles. I'm jumping over ravines, like, trying to get up against the fence. There's leaves in the way. Um, the challenge is The weather fun, sucked. Though. It was, like, filming Outlaw Run was a pain. That was a... That was a tough ride to film because again, like if you visit the park, you can see the last barrel roll and you can see the lift hill. And if you ride the train, you can see the first inversion. But that's it. Yeah. So that's a, that's a tough one. Yeah, I also had a lot of fun filming sick because I loved filming the the oh yeah yeah, yeah. the inversions at the end. Like that was fun. Filming too. fly was really fun. Yeah. Uh, that was annoying because we had no idea where it was going, but it's so scenic. There are so many views. So like, that was a pretty cool one. Um. Now we have the newer cameras, like, everything's fun. So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Um, what was our favorite ride to film while we were doing Coast in the Desert? Mm. You know what was not fun? Manta. 
Because that we didn't know the layout at all. And, and there so, was like, like one dispatch every 15 minutes. Yeah, that was really annoying because like the operations were so bad and we were um, struggling to like, we'd try it, we'd set up a shot and then turns out we were aimed at an element that was later in the ride. And then the one that's next to it is actually the one that comes first and we completely miss it. So like, Flying Flying Aces was fun when we flying were aces outside the park. Flying Aces wasn't bad. Although that was a little weird because one security guard was giving us a hard time and he was like, uh, this, this is for our world property, you can't be here. And we're like on a sidewalk and anyone can walk. It was there. very that's, odd. It was very weird. Cause I'm like, I literally said to him, I'm like, look, I, look, I'm not from here. Like, I know that this is like your neck of the woods and like, we're just tourists, but like, this is a sidewalk. It's next to a road. Anyone can walk here. We just happen to have cameras. I'm like, this is, I, I, he was probably bored. I, I feel bad saying that, but. <laughs> um, Morgan donated $5 said I must head to bed as I have work in the morning. Any last minute Carolyn's advice? Sorry, my silly fingers slipped up. <laughs> thank you so much. You're always so generous and so kind to us. So thank you so, so much. Um, last minute Carolyn's advice. Mm, oh, go to, go to Nighthawk first if you want to ride it. Because that's just the longest line. Yeah, Nighthawk is the worst line. So that's probably one to uh, keep in mind. Um, I would say after Nighthawk, probably go to Copperhead Strike. That one can have sometimes uh, slower... Well, not necessarily slower dispatches, but, like, uh, not as high of a throughput as, like, the B&Ms. And take some time uh, in the middle of the day when you want to break and go sit in that lawn uh, around Fury 325. You can walk all around that thing. Yeah. And just, like, chill and just enjoy it. Like, it's it's so nice. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I know. There's, like, a, there's a fly, fly that just came in. Oh, you got him. Did I get him? He's big dead now. Okay. Um, <laughs> scrolling down a little bit. Uh, Stephen Barr donated two Canadian dollars. Thank you very much. I said Dominator is such an underrated coaster. Mm. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> it's okay. I think it's a pretty big drop off after I-305 and Twisted Timbers yeah. with that park. Uh, Max wants to know, do, do we like filming indoor roller coasters? Depends if it's uh, how the lighting is. Yeah. Like, I didn't like filming Sandy, so that sucked. If it's a ride that is um, very, very dark, then it's, like, very annoying. But if it's something that, like, has is like in a well presented area. Like Mission Friday was kind of annoying cause you only see like one section of the ride, you know? So like, that's all you film. But like um, other indoor roller coasters, sometimes you can see the entire layout out in front of you. So yeah, it just depends. Um, a Magic Production, I like that, donated $5 and said top three dark rides. Shrek, Shrek, and Shrek. <laughs> um, I feel like I have to give it to Rise of the Resistance, yep. one of them. Um, Forbidden Journey, probably. That's a yeah. great one. Yeah. Um, I'm also a sucker for like I love Pirates of the Caribbean. Like I love the classics. Yeah, Pirates. And like Haunted great. Mansion. Like I love all those. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh man. I also really a, did like the Shrek ride. No, really no joke. <laughs> yeah, Shrek is that's a world class dark ride. Yeah. Um, Flip Slips donated two dollars. Thank you. And so you're going to Top Thrill to Media Day. Any final thoughts? We are not going to be at the Media Day, but we'll be there opening weekend. Yeah, we're going to go opening weekend. Um. Yeah. Any final thoughts? I don't know. I'm just like, curious. I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. I think it'll be really cool. Um, I am not, I'm, it's tough because like, and, and we've talked about this before, like anytime that you are doing a ride that is um, directly like paying homage or based off of an original, you can't help but compare it to that previous experience. And so like, I feel like I have to like separate it from the original dragster Thoughts, but I feel like that's all that everyone's gonna be doing opening weekends. Everyone's just gonna be comparing it to Dragster. I know. I'm gonna and try so not like, to. So that's like why it's tough because like I feel like presentation. I think it will look better than Dragster. Will it ride better than Dragster? I don't know. We'll see. I don't know. Yeah. So that's gonna be an interesting one. Um, Traika donated five dollars. Awkward question: Are you guys dating? Yeah, we have for like several years. We love each other okay. very much. See, that's what I usually get. <laughs> yes, we are. We're very happy. Uh, Craig donated. Oh, we just lost everything. Okay. No, that we was got it. Craig donated five dollars. Thank you. Any thoughts on the Universal Donkey Kong Country delay? I'm honestly not that surprised. But it's sad because I know of people who are going to be there in the Sphinx. Yeah. Um, I think that it is probably for the best. Like, here's the thing: it's new technology. And it's gonna be a not, each vehicle only holds like a couple of people. 
And so like, it's gonna be a huge draw. They wanna make sure that they are able to have a ton of vehicles on the track that they can dispatch consistently. And so um, I think they want to just make sure that everything is like, you know, airtight um, mm -hmm. for, for this attraction. I get so it. Um, hopefully it means that all the kinks will be uh, worked out for uh, Universal Orlando. Cause I imagine they're gonna be playing off of each other, like um, helping each other out with like, hey, this issue came up for us. So here's what you can do to prevent it in Orlando. Yeah. Uh, Stompy Donate, b -b 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 Stompy Donut donated $20. Why are you stomping Thank on you so donuts? Much. Yeah, why are you stomping on donuts? Thank you very much. That is extremely generous of you. Thank you. Um, just my opinion, Minion Blast is one of the worst rides Universal made. It is confusing. And what do you think of Holiday Road replacing with Raging Rapids, the station still sits with satellite and good grief. Well, uh, Minion Blast, to call it a ride, I think is a bit of a stretch. It, 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 it's does, an it does bum me out, because like, it just feels like a cheapo cop-out. Like, it is. Like, ooh, this will eat a lot of people, but nobody comes off of it like, that was great. It's sad because yeah. like that should have been a dark ride. Yeah, it should have been. I think it was gonna be. Yeah, um, I think it got budget cut. But thank you so much. That was a very, very kind donation. Oh, and about, uh, sorry, about Raging Rapids. I don't know. That's a tough one. I don't know what they're going to do. It's a weird do. area. They're also a family-owned park, so, like, they just take good gravy. So, like, I don't know how soon they're going to be looking to replace yeah. Raging Rapids. They're probably going to just ride that wave for a little bit. Then, <laughs> Get it, because it's Rapids. Yeah. Tee -hee. So Wait, you just skipped. No, I'm trying to refresh it. Um, so, yeah, we'll see what happens. Um... <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me go back because now we just missed. No, we already did. We did all these. No, we didn't. And this is Central. Donated five dollars. Said I'm back. I thought you're going to bed. <laughs> also, I have a theory that because it's Sunday and everyone is lonely, people will pay more to feel happier. With oh my gosh. <laughs> well, that's a theory. I just want to say that regardless of whether you leave donations or don't, um, we love all of you just the same. It's just we have to. You know, if someone leaves a donation, we have to, obviously, we have to prioritize answering those questions. And there's so many that it'd be impossible to answer them all. Um, we do our best. Um, but, yeah. Christian donated uh, $5. Says, says, um, I have eight, ten on Iron Gwazi. Do you think I can hit a thousand? I mean, I think he means the number of rides. But overall, this year? Oh, yeah. If you, oh, yeah. I mean, it's, it's April. April. It's April. So, yeah, another 200. Yeah, you, you should be it. fine. That's crazy that you have that many rides on it. Wow, that's very impressive. Uh, Sam donated two dollars. Thank you. And said, "When is the next part of Christmas in the Desert coming?" Tomorrow. 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 It is the longest video ever posted on the Coast Studios YouTube channel. It is fifty-seven minutes long. I think the only thing that has ever been created by us has been "This Is How We Roll." That's the that's, long long that's the longest one, and that's literally a documentary. Yeah, but this uh, but is the only other thing. Which, which what's it. funny is like I did a couple other documentaries that are available that you can watch on. YouTube and this is longer than both of them. Um, <laughs> That's nuts. But yeah, it's just because like with Motion Gate, they allowed us to film on all the rides. All the dark rides are very long experiences, so there's a lot to show from them, um, and we had a lot to talk about. Like Motion Gate was one of those parks where everything was great. We wanted to show it. You know, you visit some parks and there's only a couple rides that you really like feel the need to do and you skip the rest. Yeah. This is like, you want to do like pretty much all the rides, you know, unless it's like a, a filler kids attraction, you know? Yeah. Um, oh, this one, is that Rafiki? F R. I don't know. I'm going to call you Rafiki because I like <laughs> that. Uh, donated $5. It said thoughts on Six Flags Great America and where are parodies? Where are parodies? I, I believe Taylor's mom actually answered that question pretty well back in yeah. the comments. But the long story short is that um, they are huge time commitments. And to get out a video every day and to travel on the caliber that we do, uh, we just simply don't have time for it. Um, maybe eventually we will slow down and not be on a trip every five seconds. But as of right now, that's where we're at. Mm -hmm. So maybe eventually. But right now, like... Try to enjoy what, you know, what where our creative vision is right now. And our creative vision is very much on cinematography and series, uh, things that people can follow along with, like, over time and, um, you know, improving our video skills overall. So it's not as heavily on, like, scripting and comedy as much. It's more, well, we do still make yeah. it. We still are funny. Yeah. I think. Enthusiast who don't realize. No, I was just in the shower. Oh, <laughs> welcome um, back. <laughs> nice and clean now. We've been going for 
over two hours. This is probably like the longest stream we've ever it's done. It's a long one. Yeah. Um, so, but you guys have a lot of good questions and like everyone's still yes. going. So the other uh, part of that question was thoughts on Six Flags Great America. Um, I'd love to go back. It's a good park. It, it's of, I've always described it as the King's Island of uh, Six Flags. Like they have, they're a very well-rounded park. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really, really cool. Um, they, they have like, uh, they, their standout is like Goliath, which is great. My, I think they need another good, like really strong supporter. Cause I'd say like Goliath and Raging Bull is like a really good one, two punch. And then Max Force is a good supporting one. But, uh, some of those other rides are like, you know, they're like kind of short. Um, so. I could see them getting one of those Vacoma boomerangs. That if, could be uh, neat. Yeah, if the Win a Great Adventure goes well, which it will. Yeah. Uh, but they might also realize that it's not great for capacity. So we'll see. Yeah, I would say that um, my issue with Great America is they have a lot of clones. So they... I skipped most of them. Yeah, they like the entire left side of the park is like nicknamed the Clone Zone. You know, um, so yeah, that's all right. Um, if you're counting coaster credits, they have a lot there. <laughs> uh, JJ Mailman donated five dollars. Said favorite defunct coaster. Mine is Eagle's Fortress, which also put BBW Big, Big Bad Wolf. Big Bad Oh Big Bad and Wolf Ninja and Ninja to, to Shame. Shame. Also, my number one of one thousand fifty four. Wow, dang, that's impressive. You're hardcore. Yeah, that's really great. Eagle's Fortress looked awesome. I have a friend who wrote it, and he is like still baffled that he ever got to experience yeah. it. So yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Um, Favorite defunct coaster. Mine's volcano. Mine Followed, would be if I ever got to ride it. Mine's volcano. After that, uh, I guess now Dodo Dampa, and then maybe and then Dueling Dragons. Yeah, I'd probably say Dueling Dragons because that thing was super cool. Also yeah. Dragster because it's technically defunct. Yeah. Which is crazy. Yeah, it's, it's oh, totally you just insane. Went too far. Um. Uh, Traka donated five dollars, uh, asking uh, what my Eagle Scout pod project was. Um, so I did this back when I was like, I guess I was like early high school. I took a bunch of uh, like notices around the community to get people to donate like school supplies, and then had it all like organized on the tables and had volunteers come in to like fill backpacks full of school supplies and we gave them to kids who like were in need and like couldn't afford them like right before the school year. So that, that was pretty cool. Yeah. I was a Girl Scout. We, we you sold the cookies? Well, we did more than that. We had to do all these different badges <laughs> I know, stuff, that's just the stereotype. Like I know, everyone, we did sell Unfortunately, stuff. everyone just knows the Girl Scouts for the cookies. I know, but well, we worked hard. Uh, well, good. most troops worked hard. Our troop was a little like... We were a little gray gray. They were like, you guys should stop affiliating with the Girl Scouts. We're like, okay. Oh my gosh. <laughs> They're like, you can come on the camping trips. Just don't tell people you're Girl Scouts. We're like, okay. Yeah. Um, Enthusiast Central donated $2 said, my number one is Big Apple Coaster. Wow. Is it really though? Okay. I refuse to believe that. Um, Sam donated $2 said, Taylor, are you from Utah? I grew up there and now you're in Maryland. Uh, I am not from Utah. No, I, I did go to school there though. I was out there for, uh, several years at college, which is pretty cool. Uh, and then Stephen donated two Canadian dollars said, uh, Vortex at Canada's Wonderland is the best suspended still open. Mm-hmm. I would probably agree with that. I think that's a fair point. Cause it's pretty much, I like, uh, the bat at King's Island, but... Vortex is that exact same thing, but it uses the mountain and stuff, so it's a little bit more interesting. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I think that's fair. I like the bat. I like the bat a lot. Yeah, the bat's really cool. Definitely. Um, and then Christian donated five dollars. Kumba's getting removed probably this year, and B Bush Gardens Tampa confirmed a giga. Well, I don't think I agree with either of those things. I imagine that um, they're going to get one. They I will get it, a giga. But it's definitely not confirmed. Um, no, but I, it's like confirmed in our hearts. I think that it is very uh, plausible at some point. Um, Kumba getting removed, it just got a new sign. So I'm going to say so no. So probably not. Yeah. Um, uh, Jeffrey Young donated $2, so seeing Taylor mad was fun. Glad that my pain and suffering is I agree. It was very joyful. Uh, do you think the Raven will be arm seed? Absolutely not. No, never. No. 
Did I meet Miss Did I meet Mr. Vacoma? The CEO of Vacoma or the character? I've the met like parents? I've met like the real CEO of Vacoma. We have met this real CEO from Vacoma. But no, Mr. Vacoma. No, the character? No, you never No, I I have spent time with uh Cedar Point, Point fanboy. Um is he the only one? Mm, from the I mean I've yes. met a lot of your family, but that's actually in the, yeah, I think that's the only person that's like a character. Yes, yeah, yeah, you met. And he's actually knows nothing about roller coasters, really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which yeah. is he's hilarious. Not, yeah, it's pretty funny. Cedar Point fanboy has never been to Cedar Point. I really want him to go to Cedar Point, though, and I want to go with them. Just yeah, to, like, it'd be like, fun. I think that'd be such a funny video. Cedar Point fanboy visits Cedar Point for the first time, which is like crazy. That's me, that's not the dog. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought that was the dog. No, he's over there. <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Enthusiast Central two dogs. Just here, so there are more super chats to read. Oh my gosh. Y'all are nuts. Thank you very much. Everyone's been very, very, very generous. Yeah. You guys are very sweet. Thank you. Uh, um, so, someone wants to know thoughts on Dune 2. I think we talked about this earlier, but we really liked it. We saw it in IMAX. Yeah. I want to see Madam Web. Is that weird? I've heard that it's so bad that I like I have to see I've it. I've heard it's terrible. Oh yeah. Yeah. But like it I want to It seems to, like it's a I meme. Know. It's a big meme. Uh, Silver Dollar City Mock Hyper from Raptor Will uh, 59. Do you think it'll happen? Eh. I think it'd be really cool. But I doubt it. I think a hyper coaster at Silver Dollar City would be awesome. I just, That'd be a great fit there. It, it would. I just am not going to hold my breath. Yeah. And I feel like if they did get a hyper, it'd probably be B&M. Hmm. Just saying. There's not a B&M hyper in Missouri. And the nearest hyper coaster outside of that... Besides, like, Missouri is probably, like, over Texas, has, like, a Giovanola one. So, like, yeah. a, a proper B&M Hyper would be really, really cool. Um, Bryant has a very fun uh, trivia fact that he pointed out, and he says that there are no B&M Hypers in the U.S. west of Chicago. Did he say west of the Mississippi? Is that no, it? Chicago, Chicago. Raging Bull is the furthest west. Oh, okay. West. There you go. All other B&M Hypers are east. East. Which That's is so crazy. Weird. So, like, being a hyper for silver dollar, we can help that stat out. <laughs> yes, let's do it. Uh, anonymous donated ten dollars. Thank you very much. Do you think parks like KD and Kings Island were ran better by Paramount or Cedar Fair? Cedar Fair. Well, why? I never went as Paramount, so. Kings Dominion had a bad reputation when it was under Paramount. It was um, kind of a not great place to take your family, and so. Um, when Cedar Fair took over, they had a job to do, which was convince people that King's Dominion is a great place to visit with your family. Because um, at least in Virginia, everyone went to Busch Gardens. And so um, they spent a lot of time like just making King's Dominion a better park. I'm not talking like new rides. I'm talking like like beautifying the place and making it nicer. Now King's Dominion, I think, is one of the nicest Cedar Fair parks. It's so nice there. And... That is a fantastic trajectory. Yes, Cedar Fair has done some things that we don't like, which is, you know, take out Volcano, but they've also done some pretty incredible things. And uh, I, I think overall, Kings to me has improved uh, a lot. So um, I, I am proud of that park. I, I think that Cedar oh, Fair yeah. has done an, a nice job with it. And that's not just Cedar Fair. That is like, uh, Cedar Fair absolutely helps, but like a lot of that is the teams at... King's Dominion who are running that park, who are actually in the park making oh, yeah. those decisions. You know, it's not all corporate. Uh, Jay Leo donated five dollars. Said, which five parks do you think will be the highest priority for the new Six Flags? So we're including Cedar Fair in that. All right. Well, definitely Cedar Point. I would say Magic Mountain. Magic Mountain. Kings Island. Great Adventure. Yeah, um, those four, and then probably the ones that are in the most highly competitive areas. Yeah. After that, I mean, Kings Dominion maybe because of Bush. Maybe I would also say Canada's Wonderland or Great America. Um, Six Flags Great America. The the Great America in California is uh, not a priority at all. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, I would say. I mean, that's more than five, but I think I think the the four, meaning the two biggest from Cedar Fair and the two biggest from Six Flags, I feel like are going to be the biggest priorities. Do you ever get sick of riding or talking about roller coasters? No. Sometimes I get worn out of talking about them. So I enjoy these live streams because we talk about other stuff too. Like you guys will ask us about other things. Yeah, like fun. Taylor Swift. Taylor, Iron Man is just sent a train. <laughs> Brian, I am going to kill it. I'm hopping on a plane. <laughs> just, going... a, just a punch, Brian. <laughs> so uh, the story of what he's talking about is um, we were filming Iron Menace on Media Day and... 
we didn't know when they when the event was gonna end. There wasn't like an end time listed. So we're just filming trains. And um, at this point, I have the drone up and I'm waiting for them to send a shot. And like, we're prepping. We're just sitting there for like five or so minutes. And we're like, is it done? And we're like, okay, <laughs> I think it's done. So I bring the drone back down. I pack it up. They send a train. Not and, and they send they keep sending trains. So I get the drone back up, I shoot it back up, stop sending trains, done for the day. I'm like, <laughs> are you kidding me? So I pack it back up, exit the park, go we're going to leave. They start cycling again. I was like, are you kidding so me? So ridiculous. So yeah, that, that was that was pretty funny. And I know I like that, Brian. That gets a thumbs up. I know me. it's needless to say, but uh that was uh drone filming with permission from the park. So oh, thank you. Don't don't fly a drone over a theme park. Yes, don't. Uh, and th and there's these essential uh, donated dollars that I should buy CGA. You know what? You, you should. You probably could have if, with all the donations you've sent today. You could buy CGA. <laughs> uh, Tyler donated five dollars. Says Sarah, will you meet me at Magic Mountain and have a few drinks with me and then ride X two? Are you asking me out on a date right in front of my boyfriend and three hundred and fifty other people? Um, and my mom and my dog. So your answer is yes. Are you trying to pawn me off? <laughs> no, I just Fine. thought. Fine, sure. That was, if he doesn't want me, then I sure. I thought that was leading up to a joke. No, it wasn't. It was not. I'm sorry. I'm taken. Happily taken. <laughs> Velocity Coasting donated That's five Alex. Dollars. I know. I'm just reading the username. I didn't know if you knew. I knew. Okay, it's Alex. He <laughs> wants to know if Talon 2 was good enough to overtake Talon as your number one coaster. Alex. Don't feed into her. Talon. Her nonsense. Crap. Don't feed into it, please. I'm the one who has to hear it all the time. <laughs> uh, no, Talon is is the superior uh, ride at Dorney Park. It is. Talon 2 is not as good as Talon. Yeah, but it's a great coaster. Sequels coaster. are never as good as the original. <laughs> um, Tricky144 donated $5. Thank you again. Recently watched all your park reviews. Wow, all of them, dang. Wow, that's a lot. A to, a to Z. <laughs> have, you, have you ever considered redoing some earlier ones? That is a great question. And um, actually, that's something that's been going on for the past couple of years. Um, so um, I started doing reviews back in 2013. So the first park was review ever was Six Flags Great Adventure. And like, you know, I, the channel's still relatively new. I had no idea how to do that or anything. You know, so like, you know, here we are over 10 years later. Um, everything has gotten better. Uh, um, how I speak and, and narrate through things has gotten better. The footage has gotten a lot better. Um, the uh, quantity of footage has uh, drastically increased. The parks have gotten better. So like, there's all these reasons to redo reviews. And so um, that's something that has steadily changed. So like, if you go and look for Six Flags Great Adventure review, the one from 2013 will not come up. That one's long gone. Um, so. You'll see a lot of the um, reviews that are up there uh, are from parks that spread throughout, I would say, like, 2015 to, like, current. So, like, anything that was, like, pre-2015 has been updated um, for the most part. But there are still – but now the ones from 2015 need an update. So, like, um, the ones that will be next are, like um, – uh, Cedar Point needs an update. Kings Island needs an update. Bush Gardens Williamsburg badly needs an update. <laughs> um, so watch the old cringy ones while you can. Yeah, literally. Uh, Coney Island Luna Park. That one. That one's gonna be getting one soon. Um, um, I could keep going, but <laughs> I'm gonna cut you off because we have multiple we missed. Uh, Jesus loves coasters donated five dollars. So I'm gonna ask my mom how hopefully God willing for a big birthday and Christmas gift. I want to do the UK and Ireland for Hyperia mm. or the coaster cruise. I hope that you can pull either one of those off. I think yeah. I, I think for riding more coasters, it makes more sense to do the UK trip. Yeah. Um, but if it's, you know, you want to meet us, we'll be on the coaster cruise. Yep. Hey. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Uh, Stephen Barr donated two Canadian dollars, so the people of Washington, D.C. do not know how to drive. Uh, this is not... Go to, go to PA. It's even worse there. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, oh. Let's see. Next, Raptor will donate two dollars. Says next trip China coasting through Asia? Question mark. I don't think China is something that we'll probably do next. Because um, yeah. that would, because you know, typically we do like a big summer trip, so that would imply China is this summer. Uh, I'll go ahead and tell you, we're not doing China this summer. Yes. Um, so if you're trying to guess what we're doing, it's not. China. It's not China. <laughs> no. Um, China is very intimidating. It like even us who have been all over the world, that is a place that Spooky. is daunting 
Um, yeah, it's scary to even think about planning it. Like, it's just so much. There's too much. We have a friend that recently went to China, and um, he was telling us about how when you go, um, your phone doesn't work at all. Like, like if you have an international data plan, it still like it doesn't work in China. Um, your credit cards won't work. So you have no way to communicate with people. You have no way to do any of this. Like, um, you can't even look up on a map how to get around like China because like, it's like Apple Maps doesn't work in China. It's just like there's all it's these different very, factors very that daunting. are like so crazy. Like, I would want to do China with someone who had experience going to China because I think I would be very intimidated going there um, without anyone who knew what they were doing. Like first time even I did uh, Japan in 2019, we were with a guy who had been to Japan before and he helped like um, with that. And so, and and now I feel confident enough that I could go back and you know, um, know what I'm doing. So like, I think China, someone would, could if someone could help, that'd be great. And then that way future visits, uh, I know what I was doing. Uh, That's my stance. I need to find a charger for, for the, um, oh yeah, uh, for the people who were on our stream last time where it just ended, it's because Taylor's phone died. Yeah. <laughs> That's why it was like, I don't remember what we were talking about, but we started a sentence and then it just ended. Yeah. Um, the Banana Cannon. The Banana Cannon. Donated $10, said, I have a fun question for y'all. With SeaWorld having four parks now, only three of them have a Manta. What ride would you put at SeaWorld San Antonio for Manta? I'd put a wing coaster for theme and since Texas doesn't have one. That's actually a great question. That is a really fun question. I I think that's a pretty good answer, actually. I feel like a wing coaster would be really cool there. Oh, that works. There you go. Um, yeah, I think a wing coaster would be really cool. Uh, I'm trying to think. I mean, I really liked the Manta we did at Abu Dhabi. I would love to see that in the US. That was a Yeah, because you have to do something that, um, what the frick? Hello, sorry, we're back. That was really weird. We're here. Um, are we good? Yeah, yeah. there we are. Um, yeah, sorry, when I plugged in my um, phone to something, it required me to enter in my password, which was really weird. Um, yeah, I think that something like Manta at SeaWorld Abu Dhabi would be sweet, because that would be very different than any ride at SeaWorld San Antonio, because it'd be more extreme than like Wavebreaker, and it wouldn't feel anything like the others. And then it would also be very different from what else is at Six Flags Fiesta, Texas. So I l really like the idea of like an intimate, like multi-launch. Yeah. Like, be awesome. Something like that. And then they could steal the train front that's on all the others. Um, Adam donated $2 said, where's Dakota been? I missed the coaster parody. Dakota's in this live stream right now. He's is in, he? He's in the chat. Yeah. Wait, really? Yeah, he's been in the chat. Hi, Dakota. Yeah, I've been <laughs> seeing him comment. Yeah. I was gonna say he's off adulting. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's off. I believe in Oregon. So um, we I have still not... would love to meet you, man. Like yeah. I like I, our the main communication we ever had was sending you a script back and forth for, uh, for Robbie the... for yeah. Victorious. <laughs> that was pretty funny. Yeah, yeah, that was nuts. Um, Guitar Boy donated five great British pounds. Thank you. Interesting question. Have you guys heard of Red Fire or? Nefesiken. Yes. They're Indian Blitz coasters in Istanbul. They look insane. Yes, yes. absolutely. They look great. Turkey uh, is on the radar for some day. Yeah, we have we have some friends that have ridden them, and they uh, they said they were good. One of them is a clone of um, Ice Speed at Mirabellania, but it has lap bars instead. So if you like Ice Speed, this will be even better. So. Um. So I think we should start ending this off soon because it's 10.30 at night. Yeah, we've um, been going now for what, two and a half hours or something? But I like this question because it'll make you be nice to me. Uh, okay, it says, Sarah, what do you think is the best quality of Taylor and vice versa? I think the best thing about Taylor is that he is such a driven person. Um, I feel like it's apparent, obviously, with like the channel and all the hard work that goes into it. Um, but what you see is just the surface level. Like he is so focused on what he wants and uh, it's incredible. And I feel like everyone who spends any time with him is very motivated because they see how motivated he is. And yeah. Thank you. Um, What's your favorite thing about me? Sarah is very caring about other people. She cares way more about other people uh, more than herself. Um, to the point where it's actually probably too much. Yeah. Um, but um, it is, it's a very deep feeling where 
Um, she wants to help as many people as possible. Uh, I think she would help every person if she could, but that's literally like not possible. And I feel like sometimes I need more of me. we need to remind her that that is not possible. Um, so I think that makes Sarah a, a great friend to have in your life because uh, she's also very loyal. And you know, she, whenever, if anyone ever goes to her in need, uh, she's there to, to help them. Okay, I'm gonna go get ice cream now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for all coming tonight and yeah, for being this was so fun. generous. Um, <laughs> Mike Doney Two Dollars says, "Have a good night." I like that. That's a good end point. That was Have a great a good end night. point. Thank you guys so much, everybody uh, coming out here. This was very fun, and we'll be back again to do one in May. Yep. Um, by then, we will have. Done some new stuff, hopefully. Yep, um, so definitely. yeah, I'm gonna go get cookie dough ice cream before they close. <laughs> All right, everyone. <laughs> Have a good night. Hope you enjoyed this one. Remember, Motion Gate video is coming out tomorrow. That is the longest video that's ever been posted to the Coaster Tito's YouTube channel. Watch it when it comes out because if, if it doesn't do that well, then it would be might be a little discouraging to do long, really long content like that in the future. Yeah, so we've never done something that long. Make it perform. So we we <laughs> want it to up. do well. So yeah, um, it's a park that is worth checking out, definitely. And thank you to Bryant and uh, my mom. Taylor's mom, mom. <laughs> everyone for helping. Yes, uh, you guys are fantastic. Um, yeah, thank you so much. Uh, Breezy Coasters, I see your donation, $5. Thank you so much. Uh, we really appreciate it. Um, and that is a question that would require a lot more time to answer. So please DM us on Instagram. Um, yeah, and we'll give you an up. answer. Yeah, um, definitely. So. Thank you guys so much. Thank you guys. Have a good night.